Stevie! We're back. Hello. Hello. Howdy. We're here. We're eating pizza. It's a good time. It was very good. It's a good good. time. Wish you could join us. I know. Wish you could. If, if you send a big enough know. donation, I'll consider it. If oh, yeah, you send in a big the last stream, donation, this was upside friend. down. Could, should we flip the oh, camera? Oh, flip it back the other way. That would be a good idea, but I think we have to put, put it on the other side of the table and arrange it that way if we want to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I should have should've... an issue with the cords. Everyone, well everyone noted, but... Okay, yeah, we'll do it for next time. Some, some other time. Yeah. Um, Hopefully, when I put the maps down, the orientation of like what's up and down and whatnot won't be as uh, obvious, so it won't look as bad. What's his name? Tony Jezero. But uh, enjoy upside down Ragos over here. Yes. Um, we're going to do a quick go around the table, an optional recap for if anyone needs it. I suspect we should probably do a little bit of one. Um, and we're going to go from there. So I think starting on my left and then working clockwise. Actually, you're eating pizza. Starting my right and then going counterclockwise. I am Silas Malrick, the the best wizard on our team, of course. I'm an evocation, even though someone else decided to also be an evocation wizard for some reason. So that, may, that means you're going to switch characters? Yes. Are you, you, are yes, you I will eventually game? be switching characters. You're not doing this game? No. Oh, uh, no, uh, no, 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 okay. Just if, at any time you're like, you know what, it's time. Just yell, I'm a goblin now. I'm a <laughs> goblin icon. <laughs> I'm, I'm no longer Silas. I'm a different guy. Cast a spell on him, turn him into a goblin. <laughs> but uh, I'll probably be playing for at least five minutes, so. All right, I'm done. Um, I'm Ashling, and I ran into these fools standing underneath their wanted signs. <laughs> And I kind of blackmailed them, and now I'm second in command. Don't know how that worked, but I appreciate the offer. It was the only thing of value. (laughs) 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 We just lost lost our second in command. I was like, damn it, I don't want to (laughs) think. So that's how I became part of this party. Excellent. I'm Claire. I play an artificer, half elf. Um, artificer. I will have a turret at some point. That would be dope. <laughs> like a Gatling laser from Fallout. At or what something. level? It does shoot lightning. Oh, that's cool. I got the idea to have a lava turret. Nice. There's a flamethrower option as well. That's tight. <laughs> that's tight. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Burning flesh and hair. Which one are you gonna pick? We should have introduced uh, you all along the watchtower. I was playing. It depends on the situation. <laughs> what I feel like when I wake up that day. <laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Rayco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I play Quanker, a uh, warforged cleric of Vosh, Twilight cleric, in fact, uh, even. And, uh,. I accidentally crushed a dude's skull last time. Yeah. So this his mini. This was a custom Oops. crafted eh. by this Essie. Super, this is super tight. Very cool. I'm going to try to get the focus. Uh, really cool. Let me uh, do a little hand magic here and see if it clears. A little hand out. magic. <laughs> Did I mind trick the camera into focusing? You will focus properly. Uh, there is probably the clear system there. But, yeah, as you can see, he has an actual flail, metal mini, very nice decals. Very good. Very good job. Very cool. Thank you. Very cool and legal. Legit. Hell yeah. Did you do your intro dressing while I was doing that? Or? No. Uh, okay. Yeah, and I am Solon Fire, the half orc captain. Mm. Fighter of the of the crew, dual wielding, well, and, somehow and all, all, all around super masculine man with muscles always <laughs> rippling. But and only second place in an arm wrestling competition. His flowing, sandy blonde hair and pronounced sideburns. <laughs> Where's your hat? 
And, oh yeah, and, and of course, yes, my uh, pirate hat. <laughs> Very cool. Yes, here we go. Cosplay club. Oh, sorry. You should be, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. There we go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. Now on your sideburns, actually, are they um, are they kind of like flush? Are they unkempt, or are they like those really um, intentionally blocky, like rectangle ones, or just like they jut out perfectly evenly and like receive? Are you that? talking about my sideburns? The sideburns, yes. So like a mutton chop kind of deal, or not down that far? Uh, no, they're not. They're not mutton chops. Okay. Like, they're 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 very pronounced, and they're down. I don't know. <laughs> they're, 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 they're well kept uh, and, and not bushy. Yes. Okay. Now that I cleared up that image of my mind, <laughs> I am your dungeon master. Thank you for joining us. Uh, uh, to recap, after our last session, um, the party uh, realized that they are wanted and people do know who they are, and uh, everyone tied to the old ship is in trouble. Uh, looking for work, we had, they acquired a couple of new party members, uh, wound up going on a heist job for kind of a middleman um, who offered uh, what appears to be a less than fair value uh, of pay for items recovered. Um, having completed the heist and recovered the items in question, the party is now deciding what is it they want to do with these ill-gotten goods, and uh, what is the next move? So we'll pick it up from there. Begin. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping the orb. I'm saying that right now. This thing is a, a cool. It is kind of sputtering and flashing and stuff. It doesn't I've got one more good use out of this thing. I can just feel it. I had my back turned. What did that one do? It was the big death laser. I like the sound of that. Mega death laser. Okay, so we were purposely oh, told. Oh, the one that made the hole in the wall. We yeah. Can... We, should, we should probably leave. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. See, no. I think we should leave a I note. I assumed we leave. We left, right? <laughs> like, After gathering all the prototypes. Now, before we, we bring these items back, I think we should find out a deserted place <coughs> and test all these out and find out what they do. What if we so, break them? It is still like two in the morning, so. What if one of them destroys around. us and the entire block? That's why we go to a deserted place. <laughs> to die alone. <laughs> well, we That's do how have... I always thought I would be deactivated. <laughs> we don't yeah. have to necessarily use them, but we can at least look at them. We no, have certain... no, no. Yeah, we don't need to use them. We need, we need our smart people to look at them we and figure out what they do. Three talented individuals that can inspect magical items. Exactly. Uh, uh, we actually have four. Wait, he, he's I just hit him. Because oh, I, I feel just like... everybody... I feel like after watching that guy disintegrate in that building, I think these items are worth a lot more than a hundred gold each. I agree. I agree with that. Like, this guy's kind of feel like we're getting a little rip. I just blew up. I just, I got a mega death laser. A mm. hundred gold for a mega death laser? I have to wonder if they will recharge on their own in time. Oh no, that's why we need to look at them. We should, where are we? You are at the exit of the place that you just... We made. should go. We should... Okay. Yeah, we get the fuck out. But we did a lot of damage. Where are you going with you, my Is that, Yeah, we should look for an abandoned home. Abandoned building. Should we take slums. a rest? Does this, place, does this town have slums? Yes. Uh, we should go to the slums. Yeah, yeah, is there like an abandoned warehouse? So, two, thi good. two things I'm going to throw out. One of your party members has a private workshop. But if for whatever reason you don't want to go there... Who? Oh yeah, we should you? go there. You have a private workshop. <laughs> you haven't told We're us just about now it. Hearing about that looks, it? That looks I didn't just even know like what was on the board. <laughs> oh, it's that private. Like shot for shot, exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go there. That's that's really private if you don't know about it. <laughs> it even has a map for it, right? Uh yeah yeah, I can throw that up for you if you want. But I don't know if you want me to. Because when I put things up, you're gonna make us go hike through the stinky old slums. Let's go. 
Yeah, let's let's go to the the workshop. I have snacks. Before we leave, I take out a piece of paper and a pen, and I write, like, sorry for the mess, love, um... Uh, No, no. Love, gang of Tony. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's why I made her second in command. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Who is Tony? Yeah, I don't Tony. know. It she just, just made up a new game. Mind. Fair enough. Just the first thing the nefarious say. Tony gang. Yeah. Struck it's again. Tony's dinner again. All right, very okay. cool. Uh, so there also is a slum you could try to find, like an unoccupied tenement where they just haven't stuffed a worker yet. Uh, but yeah, you can go to the workshop or do that. Could uh, start... We go to the workshop. Yeah, for we, sure. we, I say workshop. Do you want to? Because there is a risk of if this stuff is found in your workshop, it is incriminating for you. Oh yeah, your you're su- you'll be super incriminated. Because this is like, it's like if the government was doing nuclear research and like they promised all the defense contractors they could have a piece of that pie, and then like Lockheed Martin just came in and stole all of it and ran away into the night. That'd be awesome. I'm okay with that. All right, yeah. (laughs) To your private workshop. Um, There are going to be a couple of guards posted outside, but they are loyal to... They don't know nothing. Uh, Well, they they would cause trouble. They're Asheron guards. They're all paid very well for their silence. Um, Were we able to fit everything into the bag of holding? Yes, yeah. Good. I forgot we got a bag of holding. Who's got that? I mean, me. Me. I do. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I have the bag. And no of one can test that. Uh, no, I don't. He's the captain. He doesn't know what they are. <laughs> he could be holding on to a nuke right now. Quite. He could have put. Yeah. For all he knew, he could have put a little tiny bag of holding inside that bag of holding. Just, just, yeah. If you have yeah. the orb, I mean. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely. We I'm know definitely what around. that I'm feeling does. Feeling particularly dickish. Yeah, that could have happened, but <laughs> I'm definitely holding on. Did we the check orb. what was inside the bag? Was there anything in it already? I didn't check. When we get somewhere, we need to like turn that some bitch inside out and see what happens. Good call. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't do that, but we could dump it out, right? That's <laughs> like, if you just that's, that's yeah, how you, you it. It. Yeah, 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 that's how you create a black hole. Okay. <laughs> well, no, I think you put a, a bag yeah, you hole put in one conventional object hole. into another one, and then you get a black hole where all gets sucked in the atmosphere. We did yeah. that in a game once. Yes. Yeah. It's sometimes it's a valid tactic. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I do want to make. Wait, I, w- I watched a whole YouTube video on how that's not possible. <laughs> I do want to make what? note that I'm a noble. You're a noble in this yeah. town. Uh, kind of. You are a person of import who has been patroned by the house that you are in, which is kind of noble adjacent, but so it's not noble. quite noble. Okay. Yeah, but why would people think? You just like rich people like you. You've made, you've made this house a lot of money and prestige, and therefore they've given you an elevated position. That's still not bad. I mean, you have your own workshop, yeah. which, is, which is a big flex in Rainbows. Do we, do we make it to the workshop? On yeah, no, no one across you. It's, it's like you turn a couple blocks into there. How nice is the workshop? Um, it is just as nice as the one you were in. So, the, that, nice. That's pretty, yeah, that's yeah. pretty big and spacious. Yeah. You, you, this could be, this could be a headquarters. You forgot about this? Yeah. Just, I mean, I say it's not that, a big deal. It's not a big deal. I'm not. I don't you like have a half finished project just screwed <laughs> about here. What the oh. hell? Oh. What the hell? <laughs> we could have been. We could have just went here. They they get a bonus to their intelligence checks for being here, right? Um, there are certain kind of roles you will have advantage on because oh, there are special tools nice. for production <laughs> yes, and analysis exactly. that are here. That's what I'm saying. For instance, while you are trying to examine the properties of these tools, you'll have a plus two bonus because of the equipment in this workshop. Nice. I don't think Clanker picked one up, did he? Alright, I hand, I hand you took whatever I grab. Don't steal anything. I, I mean, uh, no like, to steal. use what? in the battle. <laughs> Oh, no. Who no. has stolen anything? I slowly pick it, put back a rock <laughs> that I picked up on the way in. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna start inspecting these prototypes. As soon as, soon as I can get my hands on them, I'm, I'm very interested with these things. All right, go ahead and let me know what you're starting with. Uh, the... Um, hmm. The, the smallest one that I can find first. And, and I should think that the there big. are nine left, one did. So, 
There's nine prototypes left. Yes, nine prototypes. We should take a short rest uh, first. You guys should be. I'm taking over this. Anyone who's not doing analysis. The smallest. Does anyone need healing? I um, probably, I definitely do. I think you healed me during the battle. Yeah. I so you that. need it too? Technically, um, this I think would fit within the purview of what you could accomplish during a rest. So assuming no action comes up, I would allow rest. Perfect. For anyone. Alright. Then I will inspect. Let's try and roll on hit dice and if we're still. I will inspect the smallest uh, so one. So what do I, I roll? Yeah, um, um, so originally yeah, that was yours. Oh, don't I need to already, already that? But, but it's, you expand it, yeah. so it no longer quite meets that category. Yeah, yeah we're um, at five, so you've got your five D10. One. Uh, you didn't multi-class, did you? Just flat fires? No. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, <clears throat> then you've got five D10. You can Why the sword? The sword? Yeah. I think I've got yeah, I'll inspect the sword. Eight. I get a plus two. I think I get an additional mm-hmm. six to help. I've got the wrong and character pulled up. My that will be a 12. Um, I didn't roll very well. You are aware that it has elemental properties, okay. but you I think they're quite figure out the correct It might be a flame tongue right? or something. Uh, um, probably, it's not magic yes, quite in that sense. Three. It's mechanical. Um, with like some initiative? arcane enchantments that are fueling it. Uh, is that a red button? Oh, no. If you have something it has, that lets you add uh, your initiative, three your and then a two slider on the pop. Are any of them it's not red? Normal, yeah. Yes. Don't you touch the red button. Can I, I do is not wish to touch anything. Is there enough room to get 30 feet back from some, whatever they're doing? I can't quite. Uh, yeah, I can't yeah. Quite make it out, but it's, it's potent. We've got skill or like sixty feet I'm of workshop. Or... If they're at like a workbench over here, oh, you might accept it. Okay, I, I go fifty feet away, and then enter spaces. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, essentially, <laughs> it's like if um, it's, uh, if a boppet instead of being plastic and nineties was uh, steampunk and iron. Um, that's like the bottom part, and there's a blade coming out of that. What did you roll? A twelve. I got a sixteen. So you're, you're looking you over the shoulder and you realize that um, these buttons kind of access an elemental node where yes. if you pull it down and you turn the pommel, you, the different element will kind of exude out of the blade. And you can pick your choice of doing an extra d6 of fire, ice, or lightning damage. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Triforce. Can you save with those too? Excellent. I pick if up the next one that I see. Okay. Uh, so you um, would have strength We'll make that the shredder yeah. comment. So this is the one that had a bunch one. of like tentacles with blades at the end of it um, mm-hmm. that like fit on the hand, and you could like wiggle it around, and it would eviscerate people. Okay. Nice. Very nice. That is a twenty on the die. Okay. okay. Um, you are able to tell shuttle. that there are some defects in this one. Uh, D10. Where whatever it is used to attack, there's a chance that the hydraulics in it will malfunction. But you only get half attack the user or a random passerby instead. So you don't want to go too nuts uh, with them. Fine tuning of the controls on this. Needle but it's board. better to use them than uh, the heal. So. You gather that the fact that it actually just hit an enemy in your Please encounter was kind of lucky. And you add your yeah. constitution okay. modifier to just the D10. Can you fix this one? That one looks scary. I would allow you so to use your artifacts or tools as a skill check to try to do a repair. Plus six. Okay. Five plus five is six. I'll do that. Nineteen. Try to repair it. That's a it's a roll you'll have to make. Where is it at? Um. So it's your artifacts or tools. I don't know if it's going to show up in your skill skill table or not. You are proficient, and then you would add your intelligence. So if you want to roll a d20 okay. and add, yeah, I think, healing. seven I to it. I probably will, too. Um, plus two for you being in your workshop, so nine. You can do that. Plus seven? Nine. nine. Plus nine. Nice. 22? Yeah, um, you think that if you're no. given a long <laughs> rest by the end of it, you can have this thing operating as intended. Uh, the only thing is it will eventually break down because of the um, the, the moving parts are not going to hold up forever. Do if, I know if it's like worth fixing? Uh, it does 44 damage as a melee attack. It's a standard action to use it, so you can't like multi-attack with it. But 44 damage is not bad. Do you add anything to it? Can, no. <clears throat> Looking over all the prototypes, can I try to make a roll to surmise if any of them could be used for travel? Yeah. yeah go ahead. I'll pick up just the next one. All right. I got another 12. 
Um, you have the javelin bag. You're looking around, and you think that one of when you kind of accidentally activated your fuel, not only can it shoot large amounts of energy out of it, you get 15. It could be reconfigured to take you as energy as a primary fuel board instead. Oh, that's tight. (laughs) Turns me into a laser beam. Yeah, just basically like um, like short range Star Trek version teleport to you. Uh, you get energized somewhere else. Guys, any any guess how far? I'm close. Um, enough. yeah, it, it, it's a range. It's not long. Okay. long. If if anybody is like, injured, uh, I'm casting prayer healing. I, I rolled 15. I love. Yeah. Sounds like sounds like we'll be able to get a long rest anyways. Do I have time to fix all of them or just? I, I was down to, to nine one. hit yeah, points. Okay. I got a 23. On oh, the javelin bag. So you are able to figure out that this is able to just spawn lightning javelins um, until it's depleted <coughs> of energy. Uh, it can make up to 20 of them. I'm taking that. <laughs> I, hope so, you, I hope you people are writing this down. They're all broken. I was rolling hit times. No, this one works. This one's wait, 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 wait. This one just like produces infinite javelins? 20. Not 20 infinite, minutes out of juice. 20. That's pretty good. And then what do you have to do to reset it? You'd have to find a way to like refuel it. This dash will show you one more time when we're fixing. I'm taking that. Um, how many are left? Because I get to uh, use nineteen. No, how many uh devices? Oh, oh devices. Uh, five. But there's okay. a lightning. I, I would lightning like to inspect the next. The lightning javelins. Yes. Twenty. We have twenty. Nineteen. 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 Yeah. One was used. I'd like to inspect the next prototype. Next one. Um, Go ahead. Uh, uh, what about the sword? Much better. Uh, they actually looked into that one. What, was, what, what does that do? It makes elements pop up. Like it, It's like a sword, and then you can add a d6 of fire, ice, or lightning damage, depending on which type you choose. It's the Schmai Force sword. Does it run out of is charge that... like the rest? Or uh, I didn't specify that, but with the roll, you got a 22 on it, I think, so you would know that eventually, yes. I so so it, it only adds well, how much? 1d6 of the element of your choice from what it can do. And for how long? Element. Perpetually, until it's out. So you, I, you, I, I you should probably take that, that too, right? Because I'm the <laughs> only sword fighter, right? Hey, that's up to your party. I, I just, give, I just Is that cool? supply the loot. I, mean, I, mean, I, I, up I could loot. use it, but I, I've got my flail. I'd rather use it. I got a plus 20. Uh, 20 on next item. On but, but it's not enhanced. It doesn't have a plus one in No, no, it just does extra damage. You get uh, the rifle. Let's call it. Yeah. Um, this sounds interesting. This rifle um, is set up to where it ignores the loading property. It Ooh. has a magazine chamber on it. And oh, that's is able tight. to just keep firing. Oh, Silas will hold on. Um, it can also expel all of its ammo to perform a cone attack instead with a DC 17. Uh, saving throw for a damage equal to 3d10 that's plus nice. any extra from the ammo type inside of it. That's tight. I got a 25 on my roll to check the next one. Okay, at the 25, staff is gone. So let's give you. There is a sort of armor piece. It looks like it's um, like the chest piece of a plate mail. <laughs> Oh. But when you go to slap it on, it extends into like full plate armor. Uh, that is interesting. Clanker mm-hmm. comes out of stasis mode. <laughs> 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 the eyes. Yeah, like the, the light goes from like a real dim green to just <laughs> flares. You're like what armor? <laughs> you just suddenly became attractive to me. Exit <laughs> <laughs> mode. <laughs> So yeah, uh, it, it's like uh, plate mail that can be equipped in a round. That's, that's dope. Does it ever run out of juice? This one appears to be, at least for what you can tell, it'll last long enough that that probably won't be relevant. Mm-hmm. Like in 10 years, maybe it'll run out. But our game will be over by then. So, so is it maybe. just regular <laughs> like plate mail? Uh, yeah, it's plate mail that just equips very quickly. That's, oh, okay. that's, that's yeah. Tight. yeah. I think it would still take an hour for me. The way Warforged work. Yeah, you might have to do your magic fusion and yeah. stuff with it. Does anyone else want this? I do not think any of you are capable of wearing it, Captain. Go ahead. 
Riker starts uh, the process of removing his old armor, which will take an hour, mm -hmm. and then putting the new armor on, which will take an hour. Yeah, you pull out your like, Black and Decker power grill. <laughs> screwing all of the bolts that are holding your current armor on. Yeah. How many are left? Shout out to Black and Decker. Plate <laughs> <laughs> mail! What is that? How many devices are left now? Uh, one. Um, do you want uh, rock, rock, paper, scissors? Sure, I've been rolling better than. Oh, All right. it rolled for me. Uh, nice. 24. <laughs> Very nice. So this last one was a rod. You weren't really sure what it did. Um, it was one of the items that you kind of just grabbed and hooked in. Uh, but upon further inspection, it looks like it is able to propel like magnetic forces around. Like you find like a hammer on the other side of the workshop. It's like you get telekinesis with metal things. Within 60 minutes. Your Magneto. I'm going to keep that. that, was, that. Was that how does Clanker feel about that? Uh, Throw Clanker in the back. Like, <laughs> go! Like a Pokemon. Is, is it strong work? enough to move me? Yes. Telekinesis oh, wow. gives you like 2,000 pounds. Wow. So you could like just hurl me at something. I could just like put my shield up and just Clank. shoot me like a rock. Be, yeah. Or Clanker gets a little mouth. Maybe we can just launch him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what's the what's the hit dice for throwing Clanker as a weapon? Um, oh, no, it's fine. I would say that the attack roll will be an improvised weapon, but the damage of that is probably going to be big. It should, it, should be, it should be his entire hit dice. I, I, I would probably base it on weight and hardness, but Clanker would also take some of that damage. Uh, so okay. it would go both uh, ways. It'd be funny. It would still be funny. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm open to it. Of course. There might be an occasion where that comes up. Um, you can also tell with your role that this probably can only be active for about five minutes before the forces that make it functional just dissipate. Or should be. Damn. So that's. Yeah. I just made a mistake by making something in fives in a game that judges rounds in six seconds. Yeah. Captain, but... would you want my old splint mail? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, it's a lot of rounds. No. It's like, it don't feel oh, like good. they're just going to run out of chance. Clanker drops it on the ground. <laughs> but if you're Excellent. out of combat, it will only do you so much good. Okay. Yeah, we're, we would totally get tipped if we turned this in. He's not pop. getting this. So the only one that was broken well, was the one? Would it increase my AC? The staff. There's a staff. Um, what kind of armor the do you wear currently? Yeah. Breastplate? There's a staff. Breastplate? Button. 14, I think. Four. The self-destruct uh, button. Let me look up breastplate real quick. So that's broken? That's broken. Yeah, I destroyed it. the other one. Uh, it's yeah. malfunctioning. It, it technically is doing <clears throat> things, but it might do bad things. Yeah, you know, 14 plus. So you can fix that where you can, at a harder DC, uh, try to put that staff back together. Where essentially you just figure out what the person is doing from scratch. And so it'll be 14 no plus. Yeah, you don't know what the problems that one would have been. Yeah, but I have to go up and fighting. So it'll be 17. But the, um, the so base armor class of Splint is 17. I don't know if I want to fix that one then. So you would be. It had four other yeah. options. 18, but you can't I add I feel your like decks. this is a trap. <laughs> So I am a, just letting you know no, this is a one, but it would also uh, make you, you loud. Sneaking Yo. would be a problem. Yeah, I like sneaking. Breastplate. Y'all want the trap the trap uh, weapon or do you want the The, the claw. Button? The claw. What does what does the claw do? Um it does it's a attack roll where you do four D four damage against a target. But you don't add anything. As a standard action. Four D four, that's a lot though. It's pretty good. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Is that the trap one? No, yeah, well, the one you're calling the trap one is the staff, which blew up, and you'd have to, like, take the little crumbles that are left, try to oh, study still that, that up. <laughs> and then recreate it. I thought someone scooped it into the bag or something. Could have. Yeah. So wait, does, the, does the claw have limited charge? Uh, eventually it'll run out. It's one of the ones that, like, it'll last a while. Um, you can tell they can't run anymore. But what's the range on that? It. Ten feet. It's not bad. But it, it doesn't let you multi-attack. It's a standard action, just like activate it, then it does its thing. I say, which one do I fix? So, that's definitely... The claw. The claw. claw. Wait, wait, you only have time to fix one? Yeah. Well, per long rest. I mean, you could keep the other one. Wait, is, is that one of the ones that are broken? 
Yeah, the claw sounds pretty good. I mean, I'm not. I don't know who would want to use it, but it's still good to have. We can always sell it if nothing else. Yeah, so yeah. I say that way we don't make the guy we had mad. Let me double check before I say anything. But I think I can distort value when we just go get ten random items and. That might piss him off more than just <laughs> telling him we're keeping it. Like yeah, you don't know how much he knows. Is really the case. Assuming he finds out. Oh, he's gonna know. He's gonna know we did. Like, <laughs> if we're gonna be the talk about town, I'm sure. Oh yeah, no, the the damage on site will definitely come up. If we're planning but, on uh, keeping keeping these prototypes, we probably can't stick around in this town. You just want to leave him a note. And no, what we run. what we need to do is is talk to him. Tell, show him what, like, keep the ones we want to keep. Show him what we brought, and then have him. He he needs to like up what he's paying us, or we take it anyway. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Captain. Mm-hmm. I don't think anyone in our crew is very good at negotiating. I am not. Uh, well, unless you want me to beat someone until they I say think, yes. <laughs> I think. We should try to find a recruit that is good at negotiating. I am good at persuasion. Are you good at persuasion? Why didn't you persuade... Plus why six. Didn't you, why didn't you persuade him to get us more than 100 gold apiece? I tried. Oh. She did. She failed. Y'all, y'all failed. were like, no, nah, it's okay. We'll do it. Okay. Well, never mind then. I guess <laughs> I'll just shut up. <laughs> My apologies. I say we just leave a note and run. Don't Why even shit. leave a note? I you know. I can leave a note. He's my friend. Oh, oh yes. Quotation marks. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. All of them how died. Close are, how close are you with this guy? <laughs> I've done Apparently a not so Well, I've close. done a couple jobs for him. I mean, he kind of had a really cush setup. I mean, I wouldn't mind taking it over <laughs> for our stay here. It's very ambitious. And he said that the guards never come there. It's very ambitious. So he can't rely on, on law enforcement to help him. Mm-hmm. That sounds very ambitious. You We're forced we, to be reckoned with, sir. Think we can just handle it with just the five of us? I think with two wizards, yes. <laughs> Let me sleep on it. You know, I used to think you guys had no value with your weak, puny muscles, but after I've seen what you can do, it's mm. it's quite impressive. Good, good, yeah, good observation. <laughs> Just hurl clanker at him, and then <laughs> <laughs> look. <laughs> all right, all right, we're gonna go. We're, we're gonna sign this um, contract. Everything is ours, or we're gonna, they will okay. laser you. With Here's what we should do. <laughs> Maybe we should hide the items. Right? Go on. Or does it not matter? <laughs> I don't know. What? We keep them in the back. Are we going to remember where we hid them? I couldn't even why, remember. Why, why I had a private hide workshop. Them? Huh? Why do we need to hide them? I guess I, uh, whatever. Yeah, we'll put them in the bag of holding. Can I put my splint, my old splint mail in there too? I'm over carrying steel. Otherwise, <laughs> excellent. How many, how many artifacts are they? Nine. I'll just write it down. Nine artifacts. Excellent. Well, is there you have sleeping quarters in this workshop? Yeah. Are we gonna have to go to a tavern? Nope. I push, I move a book off a shelf and it opens a room that has beds and snacks and. That's nice. The liquor. Well, the panic room. Everything. (laughs) The panic room. (laughs) Is there ale? (laughs) Extra weapons. Is there a bar? Yeah. (laughs) Don't mind if I do. Excellent. We get a long rest in there. 
Yes. Yeah. No. No one uh, bothers you within an eight-hour stretch. Excellent. Glorious. Would Silas be able to slip away in the middle of the night? I believe so. I don't think anyone's passive is so high that that's beyond really question. I'm 17. But I probably got the highest. Yeah, where, where he's tiptoeing up. Clanker's not moving. He's in like stasis mode, but you do see the the dim green light in his eye kind of turn towards you a little bit. He doesn't respond though. He'll okay. just he'll just tiptoe on out. All right. Um, to never be heard from again. I'm trying to get the out he goes. Out he goes. I've done I've done some long and hard thinking. I mean, you're not associated with us yet. You no, would be yeah. wise to get the hell out. Yeah, I'm not wanted. I, I could <laughs> slip out with my sweet death orb, which I do. You got one shot left in it? One shot. Nice. Can I have your blanket, or are you using Thank you. Okay, I guess we rest. Because these spellcasters need a lot of rest. Yeah. Need, need to catch up on your beauty sleep. <laughs> so you get the rest. You are out in the night. Never to be heard from again. Never to be heard for a while. You wake up. One of your party members missing. He did not come back. I do not blame him. Cyrus! <laughs> Did he take anything with him? I didn't even say his name right. No. <laughs> <laughs> it says Cyrus on the card, so... It either works. I forget sometimes. <laughs> I only took the death orb. The thing that shot the magic out? Yeah. Oh, man. The death orb. That was pretty sweet. I'm sorry. I only had one shot left in it. Silas definitely would hold on to that thing, though. She wants another cookie. All right. Wow. Can, can there be a knock on no, the front door of the workshop? No, you can't have pizza bits. Absolutely. It's got tomatoes. I don't know why I'm still talking It's bad Silas. for dogs. <laughs> There's a knocking at the door. Clanker goes to the door. I'm right behind Clanker. <laughs> yes. Is... Oh, no, 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 Hello. No, 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 Is... From my understanding, you're uh, looking for new enterprising individuals to join your mercenary group. I hold up a, a, a help wanted ad. Uh, one of the ones we put up. What does he look like? He's very, very short, dressed in a darkened leather armor with a with a hood and cloak, with a with a hood and a face cloak. Clanker's like six six, so when he opens the door, right, it's yeah, like, you're looking, you're just looking <laughs> very far down. down. I got picked up, guys. Yes, I'm, I'm looking for some honest work, or just work, just work. On honestly, I'm looking for honest work. It pays better. Generally, yes. Am I at the right place? Can they stop it does. Again? It does say. It does. You do notice the help wanted ad. There has been a, a recent alteration to, to get the address of the workshop at the bottom. Oh, wow. Ever? Well, that would be up to our captain. Let's have a look at you. All right. I, I come Please in. come in. Well, you, can you see me down here? <laughs> so, so can I tell that you're a goblin? Probably not offhand. I could I could be any kind of short person from your look. From so, looks. No more so what are your skills? Athletes. Show us your face. Oh, how? Well, how cool are you guys with goblins? I have never. I love goblins. One. I hate goblins. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with goblins? They killed my father, supposedly. How, I won't believe it until I see his dead body, but how, okay, then you can't hate goblins. Yeah, how do you how do you feel about goblins that didn't kill your father? 
no no particular reason why I'm asking. I never really thought about it that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm a goblin. That's why you I'm, are both green. You it's it's kind of hard to find a job in most places. You know what? I like your moxie. <laughs> Thank You're you. hired. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. This is a very being, easy Being a goblin isn't my only skill, by the way. I have other skills, if you wanted to know about them. Do you have muscles? No. <laughs> the yet. ad specifically <laughs> said muscles. Yeah. Okay, what, can, what else can you do? Um, I can talk really good. Oh, we I, need that. I also talk, talk you a really good well. negotiator? Talk really good. <laughs> I have a plus four to my charisma. I know how to talk good. Okay. I'm the expert here. Thank you. I'm the wordsmith. Yes, guy. you you are definitely the most well spoken goblin I've ever I'll try to not take heard. that as an insult. What else can you do besides talk? I can also play the ukulele. I wanna hear. I'll be right back. <laughs> I forgot we actually have one of those. Excellent. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, now you do. Now you're going to play the ukulele. Wait, I play the bagpipes. <laughs> they didn't hear me. Just bring the bagpipes down. <laughs> like I did hear We have bagpipes too. Uh, I would have to play at that point. All the instruments. You guys are shit that I, I actually knew how to play the bagpipes. <laughs> oh shit, if you actually know how to play the ukulele. <laughs> you mind if I put that splint mail, my old armor, in the bag till we can sell it? Yeah, no reason. Oh, oh god. god. Sweet. God damn it. <laughs> For you, sir. Thank you. My first prop. If only <laughs> I had a loot. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> over the rainbow lies. <laughs> I, I know how to play the loop, too, if you want to hear that. Inspiration point. Excellent. <laughs> I also know how to play the loop. Well, I'll get your own. <laughs> I'm done being friendly with the goblin. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's I, I, your only song? <laughs> what, were you not impressed? No! Oh. Oh. Well, I, I'm, I'm having an off day. I'm really hungover. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm just always drunk. I'm all set. Why do you meat bags insist on poisoning yourselves? I ask myself that every day. Do you ever get an answer? I, I would understand if you didn't want me on your crew, but you already hired me. Well, so you know Davith, but uh, you're, def you're definitely, you're definitely, you're uh, definitely something we need. Mm. We definitely need need good words. Mm. <laughs> I got those, a lot of them, a lot. Yeah, every time we try to negotiate, we. <laughs> For some reason, fail. <laughs> uh, so, uh, wait, is it the next day? Yes, yeah, it would be late morning. All right, let's go talk to this uh, yes, stabby guy. Name. His name's Stabby. Oh, yeah, what is your name? <laughs> I don't have one, so that's okay. His name is Steely. My name, my name is Anita. Anita Bath. Oh, that was a joke. <laughs> Humor. How quaint. <laughs> yes, goblins are smelly. <laughs> Do you know where we can get a ship? Uh, probably the docks. I would imagine. <laughs> he is not wrong. No, I we gotta go that's... talk to this stabby guy. Steely, I don't know who that I is either, but I like the sound of him. Oh, right, uh, Steely, Steely. whatever. Yes, Captain. Oh, Steely. Yeah, I've heard about him. Yeah, yeah, we need what you to negotiate for us to I... get him to give us at least 500 gold per artifact we have. Yeah, all right. We're I, level I, five, I, right? I'm, 
might be able to do that. I'm okay, still great. level four. Kenny, we're level We go five, back. Right? Yeah. Wait, are you all yeah. good? You all good? Yeah. Everyone I'm, ready? I'm fine. We go to the <clears throat> tavern. You go to the mobile mail? Yeah. All right. As we're walking there, if this turns to violence, Captain, what should we do? Just kill? We get violent, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought as much. Just wanted to clarify. So, um, as you're walking back through this district down... In oh, yeah, and I have my hood up. I also <laughs> have my hood up and with my new cloak. Yeah, yeah, and you actually have one that makes you not look like a refrigerator <laughs> box covered in fabric now. Uh, so, yeah, everyone in incognito mode works their way down the hill. Yeah. Um, the workshop... You actually do wind up going by it because it's off a main like concourse, mm. and there are they've like put barricades around it. I'm seeing. And you see like um, there is an investigator uh -oh. uh, who has like ripped out the like the head, and, like the, some like the spine is like hanging down it, and there is like some sort of device that he's like jabbed up in it. And it appears like there's like light coming out of the eyes, and it's like depicting things that the person saw. Oh no! Oh, oh that's, shit! That's Probably grotesque. Sad. As a, as you as you this has caught your eye, you see someone who's kind of nearby. Go, ah, I had inquisitors. Freaky bunch. Stay clear of them. What are they doing? What are they using magic? Column. Yeah, they got something. They can see what the dead see. Sometimes they can make them talk, they stick them in a machine, and they mutilate them and do all sorts of unnatural things. Is that a person or a no. machine that he's doing it to? It's a person. It's a person. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's grotesque. <laughs> That's disturbing. That's horrifying. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Guys, guys, we got to do something about this. This is not good. <laughs> but why, why do you guys have to do something about it? Uh. Clanker <laughs> moves very close to you, bends down. We killed everyone in that building. <laughs> no, that's back over the captain. The goblin immediately does a uh, WB frog dancing style thing <laughs> over to the authorities. <laughs> oh. You didn't, men you didn't mention that when you hired me, but I could understand. You did not ask. I could understand. That's true. I could understand <laughs> why. Okay. Well, if they ask, I don't know you. I'm just trying to pickpocket you. That's why I'm standing so close. No, we need to get we need to jump this investigative guy when no one's around. <laughs> to kill a kill a cop. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I should have crushed all the skulls. That just brings more cops. Are we sure we need to go to see? Yeah, but next when time we Wait, 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 wait. How could he be reading this guy's Only one of their skulls were crushed. The guy by the door didn't have that happen to him. Yeah. No, no, no but he wasn't even killed, though. He died. Yeah, we killed pretty we killed, much everybody. I think we killed, we killed them guy? all, didn't yeah. we? No, no, we left one guy unconscious. I right? don't, I, I remember. We, we thought to. about it. Yeah. We wanted to. And then yeah, we tried, yeah. I noticed he was playing dead, so I tried to knock him out, and I ended up crushing his skull. No, that we know about that guy. I think that's the guy you're no, thinking no. about. No, no, we're talking about I don't the think other guy. I don't think it's something worth arguing. The, the, there were two guys. One guy you crushed his skull. The other dude just got killed. Yeah. Was there's, there's definitely at least one. Either way, there's definitely no, at least one. No, we knocked him out. I remember. There's at least one person there. He could do it to. So functionally, it doesn't matter. Like we didn't crush. We killed a lot of people there, and we didn't crush all of their skulls. Just the one. No, I think we did two or three. One guy was disintegrated though. Yeah. But there had to be some uncrushed brains in there somewhere. Should we do something about this, guys? I don't know I, what... If, if I had a suggestion, I would say tie up whatever business you have in town and get out. This was my thought as well. No, but we're, we're stuck here, though. Like, we don't, we don't even have an operational ship. Is it operational what, yet? What, you, what you'll, you'll murder a dozen people, but you don't want to steal a ship? Four days later. Should we steal a ship? Is that? I mean, if you if you're wanted by the Iron Inquisitors, I would I would suggest getting out of town as any way you could. Stealing a cog doesn't 
doesn't seem that difficult. You might be able to use your coin. Those favor coins? You might be able to get a, a ship. From who? Probably under special well, circumstances. I'd rather steal one. <laughs> All right. Excellent. That's fair. You only have one coin, right? Yeah. yeah. And they are very valuable. Yeah. I really need it. Like, if we can steal it, then we can steal it. But if it's like my back's against the wall, I have no choice but to use this coin. That's smart. Then, yeah. That's, that's yeah, smart. no, it's your coin. I would <laughs> hang on that thing until it's like a life or death situation. Fair enough. Wait, is, how many guys are on this uh, investigative guy? Um, outside, you see him and then two guys just kind of watching the perimeter. Uh, is there, is there okay. a bunch of people about? I would like to try. Yeah, there's gawkers and onlookers. I would like to try to do something. <coughs> uh huh. Can I, can I stealth near the crime scene? Probably. You could blend with the little crowd that's yeah. gathered here. Yeah, try to, I'm, I'm going to try to s stealth into the crowd and get as close as I can. Uh, I got a 17. Okay. And I notice you, but I don't know if anybody else does. Can I try to cast heat metal on the little thing he's using to look at the? Yeah. Um, hmm. You couldn't just cast like forget spell. Like I don't, I don't know forget spell. <laughs> uh, that's like level five or something. I, I will say this. So I will allow. You wouldn't really make a stealth roll in this case for the spell, because there's a very specific you know, sorcerer thing. But I will say that since you're in the middle of crowds and sort of things, it wouldn't be that blatantly obvious okay. that he could just look over and know immediately that you're doing okay. it. Um, I, would, I would immediately try to hide again afterwards. Try to, okay, to, yeah. to sneak my way out of yeah, the Yeah, it, it, it is possible you would not be noticed. So if you want to go through with that, then I'll roll his check and we'll see if... I'll do that. Yeah, if it goes bad, we'll just kill him all and leave. Yeah, uh, you're able to get it off without him noticing. Excellent. Nice. I just thought it'd be funny to make him. I think he's doing something truly grotesque. Minus, um, minus. Oh yeah, no, it, it is. If you have any like concept of the dead should be respected, this yeah. is very much in the face yeah. of that. Yeah, I'm doing this on principle alone, and plus I think it's a little funny. Okay. Yeah, you uh, you get your spell off. Does um, it drop the head on a stick? Yeah, not immediately, but you see it starting to glow, uh, and he just grimacing as he's trying to get out these last images from it. Oh, God. And then like the image is like flickering like um, a burning movie reel. Just holds <laughs> nice. Uh, and damn it! <laughs> he throws it aside, his hand smoldering. Uh, the, the, you can see the blackened mark of the tool as it like, gone through his glove and seared oh, his skull. Oh, that's pretty, that's yeah, pretty bad. Cool. Yeah, this guy's a hard ass. <laughs> Jesus. And it's like, find me the mage that did that. And then you see the other two begin like going out to the crowd looking around. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, okay, we go. go. We go. We go. We go. To uh, to the molten ale. Yeah. All right. Uh, you arrive, and um, you walk through the front door. No, we were shown a back door. You were shown a back door. I'm just checking. I'm just I'm testing yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we do, we do the back door. Yeah. You go through the back door, um, you come in, and you, you go to that same back room uh, that you were being entertained in before, and instead of entertainment, there's just like some tough guys and Steely with his hands in his hair, uh, just like looking down at some papers <laughs> strewn in front of him. And, what did you guys do? <laughs> They're everywhere! They're rooting through our warehouses! They're searching through... It's, it's madness! I, I, I just... Who are you? I, I'm new. He's new. He was new. You're not on involved. my shit list yet. What the fuck did all of you do? We it was all, all Silas. Yep. It was all Silas. And let me guess, you killed him to make it all fine. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Eye for an eye. Um, give me a collective deception <laughs> oh, check. God. Uh, are we going to take the average? <laughs> Uh, I got. How does that even work? I got you all jumped in on it. So I, got I said nothing. Oh, oh, <laughs> I got. I sat there and said nothing. Okay, I'll leave you out of it. I did Those pretty three. good actually. I got a nineteen. Pretty good. Nineteen for me as well. I rolled a nineteen. I had a lot of Fuck that guy. 
Thank God I kept my mouth shut. <laughs> so I fucked that up. I don't have any monitor well, to that. Well, my, my associates here believe that with the amount of work they put in and the quality of the merchandise, what they're getting paid isn't very fair. You hired a fucking goblin lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I didn't, I didn't pass Union, the, I, bitch! I didn't, I didn't pass the bar. But, regard oh, Jokes. Simple jokes, country goblin. Jokes, witty observations aside, I, I believe that better compensation is, is due. All right, what are we talking? What, what, was, what was he going to pay? You guys didn't tell me anything. 100 apiece. 500 gold Holy apiece. Holy shit, breaking my balls. You're breaking my balls. I 500 apiece. You gotta, you gotta also, start, you gotta I am keeping this one. Should I just look nice? Okay, fine. Okay, you don't get paid for that one. You think uh, it's there. I could meet you at... I'll meet you at double. That seems good. Double pay. 200 apiece. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what we're trying to sell here. Three hundred apiece, or we keep it. I don't know. I don't know what it uh, is. Uh, Two hundred good for whatever he's wanting. <laughs> we, we didn't. Oh, uh, they're show the list. They're one of a kind <laughs> artifacts. One of a kind artifacts. Yeah, yeah. That they're like mag. Ma they're akin to a magical idol. Three fifty. Huh? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna need a roll on that one. I got a 15. Uh, that's rough. I'm hardly getting anything out of it with that. But uh, look, if things are hot, I, I'll take three, it. 350. Good. Done. Final offer. Excellent. Off. I was gonna, I was gonna go down a little bit. Full. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, nine artifacts. I hand him the nine artifacts. Really? All of them? Do you, uh, you yeah. Take them? I didn't. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Yeah, he's wearing one of them, and I kept them. No, I, no, I, no, I thought. No, wait, I, I thought the nine artifacts were the ones that you weren't. No. Yeah. So there were ten total. Yeah. The staff blew up in the combat. He's wearing the armor, so you're down to eight oh. after that. Silas took the orb. And right, I seven. have the telekinesis. And I have the six in the bag. Six. Did you? Okay, so I give him the. Six. Six Still making more than what we would have written. Yeah. We gave all ten. Yeah. All right, so 2,100 gold pieces. We're happy with that? This yes. is the best deal in the history of deals. I take it, and, the, and then I divide it up uh, evenly amongst us. Now he, as you're doing that, he kind of verifies the items are in there. It's good enough, and he tosses it to How him. How much is it? Uh, 2,100 gold. Two pages or just in platinum? For those of you who are... Now we gotta go to the bank. Divided by five. So right, right, you're right, right. 420. Can you bring it? 420! You don't get 420! Guys. It's 420. Did you just have a purpose? No. <laughs> How could I know? How many artifacts you would get? Uh, or the Atlum price you would haggle him to. That was a happy accident. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my mom used to call me. <laughs> Okay. This is the most. This is. I've never seen this amount of money so quickly in my entire life. All right. Uh, See, I do. I do talk plus, good. You do talk good. Now, um. Uh, so that puts me in. You're a sea navigating bunch. Uh, do you guys have a ship? Not at present. Yeah. Well, I might have a way for you to get it. But you've got to do a job to earn it. Oh, what, a job. what sort of job? Can we see the ship first? <laughs> sure. Yeah, why not? No, it's not bad. It's not wrong with it. What kind of job? It better be what a badass ship. <laughs> it's a fair ship. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't have that much to do with vessels. I sail on them occasionally. I'm not really a ship guy. Um, there is uh, an island where supposedly a meteor fell. And this thing was made of some rare and valuable metals that a client of mine might have their hands on. You bring back the star metal, you can keep the ship. Hmm? Do we know how big this thing is? Will it fit in the hold? 
They assured me the ship would work. Very well. And we get to keep the ship? You get to keep the ship. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal. It's not a bad ship. Okay, okay. What kind of dangerous stuff is surrounding this Sorry, star but... metal? Well, you're not the first people who would have tried to get it. And the other people failed? Well, we haven't heard from them, so uh, presumably yes. So you're letting us. So take what a what ship dangerous stuff was on this is this an island? I don't... Yes, it's an island. So what dangerous stuff was on this island before the star metal? I mean when the aberrations broke through the skies you know. I remember hearing about like that. there was a big cataclysm where the gods sundered the moon to stop them from raining down, and this predates that by just a skosh, so around that time period. Did you also promise these people a ship? Yes. Do you think that maybe they just took the <laughs> ship <laughs> and no, not? No, because did... we can scry the ships and they're all marooned on a beach. Uh, oh interesting. So they never left. Yeah, there, there's no one on them. We have checks. Here hey, if we recover those ships, can we sell them? I might be willing to split some of the money with you. Better you brought them back than nothing. Give you 40%. Hey, Goblin, do you, do you know a mending spell? Uh, I just failed a sword one. <laughs> I don't know if I took that. What's the Goblin's name again? He has asked. no name. I don't have one. <laughs> No, I need He said his name was I need His name is I Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> your new name is Goblin. Excellent. <laughs> what is your actual name? I would like to know. The name's Tony. Tony Jazzaroni. Tony. Can I call you Roni? You can call Pepperoni. me Jazz. Okay, Jizz. Now, because this is a dangerous mission, and I need something to keep an eye on the lot of you. I'm sending a fellow associate. Oh, we're getting a babysitter. Um, and he kind of goes, Mungus! Oh, Rocious, like, like where are you? Come on! Mungus. Fungus? Come on, come on! And uh, the gr- you hear like the sound of heavy footfalls, and the door from the back hallways opens, and a um, Goliath, who is just like, bolt out to the extreme and covered in like it's iron armor but it leaves lots of him exposed still and it just kind of runs his body and then his like head is in a cage like helmet type thing mm-hmm. like a bloodborne helmet kind of um, that one you get in... no it's like the guy from thunderdome yes oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because on his back is a smaller individual. oh yeah oh, I'm getting a... Oh, I'm knocking his ass really off is. and taking that spot. That's awesome. <laughs> and he, uh, as he comes, he comes in. He looks over. Um, just... Claire. What were their names? Uh, this is Ruxious. Ruxious. And Mungus. Ruxious. They so said my name. We've worked together. Don't you remember who I am? I guess I have a terrible memory. <laughs> Mungus, say hello to the nice lady. Hello. Hi. He extends an arm with a hand the size of your head. He shakes you, and you don't think he's trying to be rough, but it, he's got a hell of a grip. Okay. His name is Mungus? Mungus. And what's the little guy's name? Ruxia Stag. They're going to be our babysitters. And what, 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 are we bringing them? Yeah, yeah, so, um, Ruxious and Mungus, just think of them as extra help. Uh, they'll be sub- escorting you through whatever trials you have, and then reporting back to me when it's done to be sure everything was on the up and up. Can they fight? I suspect the large one can, but I don't know about the small one. I will turn you to mud. 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 Mm. I like them. Fair guys, enough. You guys really like taking orders from people? Oh, I'm, they're not there to tell you what to do. They're there to help you accomplish your No, duties. you're ordering us to do something. Well, I am giving you the job. Yeah, he's giving us a ship to get a job done. 
I'd rather just go steal shit. <laughs> that sounds like too I, much work. I'm also, I'm open to either. But I like the cut of these two skins. I would like to see this sky rock. No, let's go see the ship first. Let's go look at the ship. All right. Let's see if it's a piece of shit. I, I, we'll not walk. <laughs> you keep your hoods up, and we'll walk down to the dock together. So you go down, um, and as you're kind of making your way down the Iron Pier, uh, you come across what appear what you know to be well, I guess what you would know to be the um, city's kind of naval force, like the pier reserved for that. And you stop. You don't get to like the big like ironclad ships that are like their big, their best and brightest. But you do get to these frigates that they keep. Um, where they have like iron plating stapled to the side periodically. It's like in core positions to stop it from being compromised at its most vulnerable points in the woodwork. Uh, the front has a splay of cannons on it, and then there's a standard um, battery on either side. Uh, it has a three mast system, but they're tiny masts. And then there is at the bottom of it, a uh, propeller <coughs> that can be turned um, and there's like basically just manual labor where it's like people can like pull a crank and it turns it and you can get propulsion. Uh, that sounds kind of advanced. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this this is, compared to most boats you've seen, this, this is a cut above. Um, and this is your ship. It's the person who arranged this job provided it. And it's ours to keep on success. Yes. Wait, how big is it? Uh, it could <coughs> comfortably staff a crew of 64 sailors. That sounds like a lot. And we keep all the way up to about 120 before you start running into, like, you can't fit more people on your boat. Are we being given a crew? Oh, well, of course. You can't take the boat anywhere <laughs> without a crew. Um, we have a group of people uh, who were bought at auction. Slaves. Um, Ex-slaves. They were liberated mm -hmm. from the elves. Mm -hmm. Elves keep slaves? The Octavians yeah. do. They are truly elves are filthy degenerates. Can't you come with us? Oh, I, I have so many things to run here. I couldn't do that. But I leave you the very capable hands of our mutual friends, Roxas and Mungus. They can run the place while you're gone. No, they can't. <laughs> <laughs> Mungus, like, yes I can. <laughs> Mungus run business good. <laughs> Excellent. I think I think we're all set up here then, aren't we? Let's go get us a, a meteorite. Don't forget Yargo. Yeah, we can. Yes. I don't know who that is, but I like Yeah, we go check out Yargo. How's Yargo doing? So, um, I don't know who that is either, but you know. You, you go back to your old vessel uh, where the repairs are underway, and Yargo, like, on the, they're still patching the hull, um, and he is just behind, like, five dock workers trying to, like, nail boards in place. Just every time one of them kind of turns around to, like, do something that isn't hammering those boards back into position, he's, Yarg! And they just, like, continue just hammering away. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. But yeah, he, he, saw, he sees you coming. Yar! And he over and stands at attention. So he, he he erased the name on the ship, right? It's gone. Like, So it, it's been erased in a sense, like it looks like a blade was just dragged across it, and that mm -hmm. bit of wood was just scraped. It's all just okay. like splintery there now. Okay, uh, it's the, remember the bookkeeper place? Yar? Right? Uh, so, when no one's in it, when, when the bookkeeper has left, I want you to burn that building down. Yeah. Yeah. Erase any record of, of this vessel being here. Yar. Do you think this is something you can accomplish without being caught? Yar. Pretty tall order. Um, I'd like a contract made up first. I suppose that can be done. This is supposed to be somewhat 
covert operation, but I can keep it. Can we make a contract that says that if you don't follow um, what the contract says, you become our prisoner? <laughs> oh, I am a middleman in this situation. I don't even see how that would make sense. <laughs> I, I can give you a contract for the job you're being given. That won't be a part of it. I just don't know how we can trust you. I mean, uh, I don't know if we're trustworthy. <laughs> We've done jobs together. You. He hasn't wronged us yet. Why are you? You tried to rip us off, though. I tried to secure the best deal for the person who gave me the job. That's my job. I'm a fixer. I was fixing things for my client. Yeah. We don't need to make this more difficult. I don't know. I mean, pretty an easy ship. We can get this done. All right, we board the ship. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so you get on board, and you are provided with the minimum crew necessary. Um, so you've, you've got, not counting um, Ruxius and Mungus, 64 people. This uh, is a sizable ship. They, like, as they, they are, it looks like they're preparing for a voyage because they are stocking and There's like rows of like chickens being brought on board, like they're like chicken coops where they're like setting them up Excellent. to like get the eggs and stuff. This um, is a ship. They have oranges? Uh, there are, there are. Um, so they have some fresh supplies, and then they have jarred stuff that they're like setting up and everything. It, it's it, they're outfitting you to have a month's supplies. Excellent. And how long will it take us to get there? Uh, about two weeks. Excellent. You don't have a lot of time once you're on that. Yeah. I mean, I will, but you guys won't. Well, you'll need a crew. You might be able to just walk across the bottom of the ocean, but yeah, there are that other would take problems. a while. That would take a long time. And if I got to like our world's equivalent of the Marianas Trench, I wouldn't want to fall in that. Yeah. Be down there for eternity. No, no. All right. So are we ready to set sail? Yeah. Yep. Should we buy some extra food for you meat bags? No, we, I think we're fine. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're ready to just go, we'll disembark this thing, get you the hell out of here before anyone can ask questions, yeah. and... Uh, that you, seems wise. You can end your ship if you just bring back a fallen star. Seems like a good deal to me. Seems legit. All right. The face on Clanker's shield smiles. It's the first time you've ever seen it do that. That's weird. I like it though. We set sail. All right. Um, as you are left be to prepare to disembark, uh, the crew comes up on deck and they all prepare for captain's orders. Okay. Uh, I start shouting orders and all the. Uh, appropriate jobs to be performed. In. Yeah, they, they hop to it, as you tell them. Um, as, as they're kind of going about, you, you overhear one like, no speech? And then like, they like, keep going about their stuff. Don't uh, get scurvy. That is all. And, but yeah, oh but, yeah, my speech is, don't die! <laughs> Hi, Captain! Uh, good, good thing you told me. But yeah, your um, your crew appears to be um, very malnourished humans for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a few dwarves in the mix, and um, yeah, that's it. Just humans and dwarves. Yeah, they look. How tough do they look? Um, uh, scrappy would probably be the correct adjective here. They look desperate. Yes. They look like the type that would. Be willing to steal. I mean, to plunder. Probably. Maybe you should talk to them about that. No, we're gonna get those Warforged crew members anyway. That could be a while though. All right. All right. Well, I mean, we gotta see what we're getting here. <laughs> 
Like this star could give be a, a lot more valuable. A couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can keep the star and the ship, and then just just replace the crew members. <laughs> I just want to get some light plundering on the way. Okay. Fair enough. There's a lot of ocean, so uh, let's see if I can pull up the map and show you where you're going. Please talk amongst yourselves while I do this. Uh, I'm doing reps. Excellent. Working so, on my muscles. So, hmm? beyond just taking odd jobs, what is this crew about? Murder, so far. Yeah, it, seems, it seems like you guys aren't squeamish when it comes to breaking the laws of man. The only laws I care for are the laws of the sea and the laws of Vosh. Fair enough. It just kind of ended up that way. I didn't mean to we crush were, his skull. We were trying to be uh, legitimate at first, but... It went uh, poorly. Certain so members poor of them. our crew uh, did certain things. So certain, since you have a ship now, certain folks might refer to you as pirates, yeah? Uh, yeah, privateers. Privateers. <laughs> For now. All right. I just wanted to be on the same page. So, uh, what's your deal? Uh, how'd you get educated? I was raised by a, a family of gnomes. Gnomes? Yeah. Are gnomes and goblins known for getting along? <laughs> um, they don't have any particular feuds in this thing. Okay. For some reason, I just picture, like, the I mean, and Especially not in the archipelago. Didn't care for that milk toast life. Are all of your people this small? My family is. I have a cousin who's, who's a human. Ah. My family's weird. So it would seem. So, as you can see, Regulus. I have no family beyond the crew. Straight across the top of the map. And then a little bit and the south at the bottom of the ocean. That um, that cluster of five islands over there on the right. The bottommost one is where you're heading. This fella. Uh huh. And where are we? Dragos. Dragos. You're at the volcano place of the top side. Oil. No, he said the okay. bottommost island, right? Wouldn't that be that one? Well, of the five and this oh, corner, oh, okay. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I right. say we go this way. And then we'll just, you know, appear on the other side. Is that how it works in video games? The world is much larger than the original map. Eventually going that way would get you there, but it would be a very long time. Yeah, we would have to go around the planet. You're going to have to subjugate some natives and try to steal their gold before I... Well, this is... Wait, wait. We're wanted in Vasa, right? Oh, you are very wanted in Vasa. So we're going to go around the south. We're going to go... I have to go by Scape Sport. Yeah. Yep. Like a smiley face. Now that will add about two to three days to your journey. Yeah, that's okay. No, no, we're on a different vessel though. They don't. They don't if recognize. We get stopped, if we get stopped, or I mean, I'm not wanted, so I don't give a shit. But if you get stopped for any reason, <coughs> any broken tail light, anything. What the? <laughs> does that happen? <laughs> I don't think so. Um, ships get inspected. Yeah, ships do get inspected. Usually they're looking for smuggled goods or um, fugitives. Alcohol. Fugitives, yeah. You, go, you do Which whatever. You do whatever what feels you right. Are. Only I you two I, are wanted. You know, yeah, I don't even know you're wanted, so I'm going to keep my fat mouth shut. And since the governess died three days ago, or sorry, two days ago, um, they're probably on high alert still. Killed the most important person's wife. In, Captain, that, in that city. I think it would be wise if we avoid Vasu, the entire landmass, if possible. So, we may need to buy more food. Okay. For you meat bags. We go around, I guess. Everyone, um, that's what everyone's saying. Which so. route are you taking? South of Vasu? All, all the way. Okay, so that smiley face track that you did. Yeah. All right. Giving the island a wide berth. Okay. 
Um, so that'll make total trip time uh, 17 days. We need to buy more food. We've only got a month, month's worth. Okay. There are little like colony outlets along the way. Oh, so we could pick up more some fast food. Yeah, you, you could be like, hey, these guys have a crop of bananas to sell. <laughs> Go get that. Yeah, that. Or we could do some light looting on the way. Yeah. You that could too. also try to pillage these places. You could find trade Pillage ships. some fishing ships. Yeah, lots of options. You're actually better armed than your average merchant vessel. Yeah. So, wait, we don't have the enough supplies for this journey? Not if you're taking the long <laughs> way. <coughs> not, not to go there and buy. They gave you just enough to make the most. All right, so, route. so then pirating would be that'd be the best option. Okay. Fuck buying stuff. Yeah. All right, so you continue, um, and you get the first day is there's just no trouble at all. You've got great weather. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful day to be alive. Yeah, but basically, as long as you're in the shadow of Ragos, you're safe. No one likes to start trouble over there. Um, Ragos is known for having just a zero tolerance policy. We should we should hold off on the pillaging until we're in closer to Vasu waters, because we'll be in their waters regardless. But we're just not going by the city. Okay. So you get about. A week into your journey, uh, no real major disruptions. Uh, you think you might have seen like a pirate vessel kind of doing its thing, and it kind of it saw your ship and like went away from you. Good call. Um, it, as I said, you are in a ship that is outfitted like a Ragos military ship. So small time groups want nothing to do with you. Are we flying a Regos flag? Uh, yes. Yeah, well, what kind of flag? Are you flying under Regos's or are you flying under your own ship? Or are you gonna wait until the ship is yours? I guess the default flag was the Regos flag, but if you've got another one you want to fly, you can. I've never thought. I've never found the appeal of the small. Yeah, we don't prospects. have another flag, so. I mean, if we look like a military vessel and we have the Regos flag, and you're a smooth talker, we can just call on people. Yeah. Say, we need more supplies for our Yeah, I mean, yeah if we're running we're the Vegas, you could this try to under the military. Yeah. That would be cool. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, if we if we look like a Ragos, why couldn't we just go by Vasa? Because what if they stop us and try and make small talk? Jesus it also would be very unusual for them to see, like, Ragos sending military vessels that Yeah, it'd be, like, it'd be like China just being okay with Japan sending okay. ships in the water. All right, yeah, we're we're doing too good. We're doing good. Uh, but uh, do do we want to keep the the Ragos flag as we do? We have a, do we have another flag? If you took the ones from your old ship, you have like several. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what what are our options? Uh, so that ship, because you got it from those Marauders, it has their flag, it has a flag for each, uh, it has Basu, it has a, a not as good looking Rago flag, a Basu flag. 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 Um, flag. You do have a Basu flag. That'd probably be your best bet. How good does it look? Um, a little tattered, but functional. Uh, if, if you'd been out at sea for a minute, it wouldn't look too unusual. Fly the Basu flag, then commandeer a few fishing vessels or maybe even a merchant vessel. I don't see why the Vasi flag would be any different than the, the Ragos flag. I mean, they're not, why would they inspect themselves? Uh, the merchants will also fly their flag. Oh yeah, it yeah, 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 never mind. We could just put yeah. the, the Vasi. Okay, wh okay. What, what flag would make us look more like a merchant ship? Um, like less of a threat. Either Vasu or Ragos, probably. Probably Vasu. No, probably obviously Vasu. the Ragos is making us look like a threat. Uh, I, I did forget to mention there is the uh, the other flag in there is a Dracorian ascendancy flag. You could try that. What's that one? They are the continent that is east of this setting. Um, they're like the big human supremacist military power. They'll come on this side. 
So we got elf Nazis on one side and human Nazis on the other. Yeah. <laughs> Just two basically ethno states at war. Yeah. Just, yeah. Awesome. Well, we don't have to worry about killing them on sight. <laughs> don't have to feel bad, at least. Not that Clanker would, but. We're going to wide berth. What, what, we're going. We're going the wide berth anyways. I, I feel like Boss is probably our best bet. What? Which flag would make us look like the least threat? The, like the one that we could get closer to other vessels. It changes by where you're at in the water. If if we're in Vasu water, it's probably a Vasu flag. Yeah, that would be the least out of place flag. Once you're in the Vasu okay. side. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so you fly the Vasu flag from the start, or is there like a specific day you want to switch over? Oh, yeah. Once we get past this island here. Yeah. Okay. So that's about day four. Uh, on day seven, you come across what appears to be your first merchant vessel, uh, not accompanied by a convoy. Oh. Oh. Uh, it looks like they're just coming off a of port from one of the smaller colonies on the south side of the island that Vasu is on. They're probably doing trades along the way, like stopping at each port, buying and selling, and then they'll go like cash in big time at Vasu when they're done. Uh, Does it look like they're going back to Vasu to cash in? It looks like they're probably, they disembarked kind of recently from where they're at. Uh, the fact that they're far enough out that you can see them, they might be trying to do trade at Scavesport, or there is some other reason that they've kind of veered away from the main island. But it's a Vasu flag, it's definitely a merchant vessel. Um, you've got them out gunned, you can probably two cannons to one. Like, what say you, Captain? Can we have, like, what's the best way of getting close to these guys? Well, you're faster, so... We could just bum rush As them. long as you just stay in the wind with them, they can't really get away from you. Um, the other option would be to try to, like, navigate their path or try to figure out where they're probably going and then sail to that point or an intercept point and then come at them from that position. Okay, we'll do that. The second one? Yeah. I will need a navigation check. And uh, who, uh, what, what, what kind of role is that? Navigator's so, tools. Navigator's tools would be the check. If anyone has proficiency in those, they can Dabith use them. did. Um, if no one else has gotten into that, then a uh, raw intelligence poll. Oh, you don't want me doing that. Uh, I think wisdom would actually also work. That that oh. is the other side of that. Check. I do not. So. I'm not navigation savvy. I could I could try a wisdom check. Did you say wisdom or what? Yeah, Wait, wisdom or intelligence. When, uh, Just a raw roll. Raw roll. Okay. Would that be something that uh, uh, Claire would be good at? Mm -hmm. If she doesn't have proficiency in navigator's tools, no. I don't. Well, who has the highest skills. intelligence? I have a plus six. Is that to your modifier or your save? Oh, maybe that was my save. Yes, yeah. that was my save. Um, so you probably got what? A plus three. Plus three. I've got a plus four to wisdom. Uh, I, mean, I guess we could both try and. Due to the nature of the role, I'm going to limit how many people can attempt it on their own. Because you wind up in a problem where too many people yeah, are trying yeah. to like call the direction of the ship. Well, well, uh, someone... guidance to whoever wants to do it. And and you should assist. I will allow up to two. I don't know. Could I assist? Could someone assist on such a check? Only with, with proficiency. I don't have proficiency in intelligence. Oh right, right, right. I do though. He couldn't use his wisdom to assist with intelligence? No, because it, it's a matter of you'd have to have enough knowledge of navigation to assist with the role, and no one here actually is trained in that. So Wait, that We don't have a good. navigator on the ship at we all? We did. Davith left. What about, what about the uh, what about a little guy riding the big guy? Um, you could, he hasn't spoken up yet, but you can go up to Ruxus and yeah. see if... Uh... Hey, Ruxus! Yeah! Ruxus! Can you navigate the ship? Probably. Probably you. Where are you trying to go? Thought we were going the right okay. way. How do you feel about pillaging? Hilarious, love it. We're gonna pillage that merchant ship. No shit. Yeah. 
<laughs> we need to catch it though. Ah, and you want me to figure out how to get to it. If you would. Mm-hmm. You have a spy glass? Here. Thank you. Guidance on him. Well, judging by the trajectory and the wind and what I'm going to guess they're doing, they're going to hit up a small colony on that island that's between the island bosses on and the escape support that kind of Oh, the little one down there in the Maybe middle? We can catch them before they get there? Yeah. If we, uh, we had them off, I think we can uh, get them in a position where they'll be out of mercy. Let's do that. Okay. Mungus, go turn the wheel. <laughs> Mungus liked the turn wheel. <laughs> Excellent. We have a navigator. We should keep him. So yeah, you uh, you go onto your intercept path, and sure enough, by about the evening, you're at sunset, mm-hmm. uh, and you have pulled your ship around to be in the path of this other ship, and they are coming at you. Uh, you see that they are beginning to turn off to kind of keep their broadside facing you in the event something's going to happen. Um, but you are just going full steam ahead and with five cannons just spread across the front of your deck. Even, uh, it puts them at a big disadvantage for a firefight because your profile is far smaller and you have more guns to fire at them with. So if you wanted to go into a gunfight with them, you'd win. If you don't want to do that because you're afraid you're going to sink or damage the goods too much. You're also faster. They can't. Yeah, we, should, we should just yeah, start. Yeah, we don't want to blow up their ship. If we, if we can get them without firing a shot, we'll do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you you don't give any orders to begin firing immediately. Do you want to do any sort of readiness thing for the crew? Or just be like, hey, this is the usual. We got it. Do we have, like, hooks that we can and then pull their ship? Um, you have harpoons, and you could tie rope to them and do that. Or I can use my telekinesis. I think the boat might be too heavy, though. Would it be? How much? Can yeah, because um, you got 2,000 pounds on that thing. Oh, okay. But a boat does weigh more than 2,000 yeah, yeah. pounds. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think that. You might be able to mess with their anchor or something if you want it, but... I think we should tie ropes on to some of the grappling hooks, yeah. at least. I, yeah, that's probably our best plan. Dude, what if we stealth took their boat? I, I mean, we we're like big. Swim over and not swim oh. over and... Can Clanker swim? I mean, I, I would think he... Technically, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I think because they didn't want that to be a constant problem, they didn't write in the rules that Warforce just sink. And part of my body... Yeah, yeah, and what, and what, yeah what, if, what if we made it so that, like, we made it look like our ship was feigning, like, uh, like SOS, like white flag... The heading you've taken is a little yeah, too aggressive for that to likely work. Yeah, conspicuous. Yeah, but maybe we were like, you know, we really need help. You could try. I'm just saying that because they probably saw you over there, and now you've pulled ahead of them and are like at an intercept course, not too many things that could be. I said I said we just ride next to them and hop on. Mm-hmm. Or are they going to so okay, yeah, get away? Yeah, 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 to get do? all crazy. All right. Um, you yeah, get... That, yeah, I would be I, I would be a, a disadvantage to be alone, also. Okay, anymore. Uh, so... Rakshas and Mungus are trying to steer your ship to get right up alongside them. Um, unfortunately, they veer a little too hard over. Mm-hmm. And, um... The edge of your ship just starts like scraping, scraping. up against the side of theirs. That's okay. Um, fortunately for you, you have an iron siding. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got a we got like a prow on it. Yeah, yeah. So basically, there's like an iron skirt that goes over the edge, and then there's like. Well, can, can we jump over this? Then? Come over. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, are at a it. point where you could just hop ship. Can Clanker uh, pop a harpoon into the ship with a rope on it just yeah, to make sure yeah, they yeah. can't? You know. as, as soon as we hop over, can I try to sneak in the chaos? Or go yeah, 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 I would say it's ship. crazy enough that that might work. Um, they are, at this point, armed. 
There, there is a group that has gone up, but they're currently uh, prone because their ship has just been tilted 20 Excellent. degrees and everyone Excellent. just got jolted over. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're trying to figure out what's happening. Yeah. Excellent. I got a 16. Yeah, you th you're able to kind of veer off to the side. As long as you stay out of the, the main thoroughfare, you're probably fine. Uh, what's everyone else doing amid the mayhem? It's just loud scraping, iron shrieking as things go across it. Uh, harpoon with rope. Harpoon with rope. Go ahead and give me an attack roll. Um, there's a chance you miss. What do I add to that? A dexterity. Mm, ten. Uh, it, you, <laughs> as the, the ship is being kind of rocked from the collision, <laughs> uh, you fire, but fortunately you still manage to hit one of the masts um, in, the, in the middle of all this. You just barely catch it, but it's in there. Good enough. And I get down and get ready to board. Yeah, but, get in there and start hacking away. Okay, yeah. Um, so you gather that these are probably uh, like merchant marines. They're they're not the best trained, but they're like you dudes who just sit around ports and like I've got eight friends with guns and swords and we'll protect your ship if you'll pay us a, enough to get drunk at the other end of the voyage. Excellent. And um, you you suspect that for the most part you're not in for too much resistance, given your training and prowess. Mm -hmm. um, is anyone willing to go about this in a specific way? I'd like. Is is the captain visible? Uh, no. I would like to try to sneak to the captain's quarters. Okay. How many people do I see on this ship right now? Uh. Top side, let's say forty. Ooh. How many people are, are needed to sail this ship? Uh, ship this size, upper thirties, lower forties. Or could it be towed? You could tow. It would really slow you down. Yeah, I'd say we just gut it and leave them. Yeah. Leave them, leave them to the water. I mean, it's still sailable. It's not like we're killing them. Yeah, they could just sail over to that little island and call for help. Unless they really try to fight us and we end up killing them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If they, but if that's they on to, them. Yeah, if they want to die for a merchant company, by all means. All right. Are, is battle commencing? Uh, yes, but it's there's not enough resistance to really turn it into like a formal okay. thing. Okay. Um, I, I, I would try to find the captain to convince him to have his men stand down. Uh, yeah, so he does come out actually like waving a white handkerchief. Um, he, when you go to his quarters, he's like in there furiously like writing something. Um, I'm going to snatch whatever he's writing. Okay. Whatever. So yeah, before, what was he writing right before, now of all times? Uh, you you can see that he's basically it's a missive saying that they're being attacked. Oh yeah. We get, uh, what do they have? Carrier mean? pigeons? Probably. But you, you come up to grab it. Oh, and uh, hey, hey, let's let's not do anything. I, well, let's the do ship anything. is the ship hey, is yours. The ship is yours. Yeah, well, nobody, I only ask. Nobody needs to know about it. My people will be left to sail back to port. All right, tell them to back, tell them to stand down, and none of them will perish. Uh, men, 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 men. He goes up. Uh, uh, drop your weapons. Drop. Uh, we're not going to fight this one. We're, we're going to go back to good port. Call. Good call. Going to be okay. Quaker was swinging the flail. He's like, <laughs> oh, uh. yeah. He, like there's like several guys like just outside of the the radius of that. Just all kind of like, yeah. Uh. A shame. Good smart call, Captain. Smart call. Um. Okay. So, uh, what do you guys want to do with all this cheese? <laughs> cheese. Well, that's why we're. Why do you think we're stopping you? Is, is money, right? They're talking about money? No. As, as, I, I, they're probably about actually just about cheese. Cheese. giant wheels of cheese <laughs> begin to be brought oh, up geez. from below deck. Alright. Um, we've got these, we've got milks. Uh, how do long, we want the perishables? How long of a travel do you have before you're back? Oh, we'll be back at port probably in three days. Oh, yeah, that's food, man. That's we got to leave. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that is part of the reason why we were sticking yeah. people yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Where's, all right, all right I'm going to, where's your 
your secret? Where's your secret, Captain Gold? I I can I can give you the stipend that I have on hand. Um, it, it's in a chest in my quarters. Okay. That's a good start. Come on. I, I intimidate know. him <laughs> to show show us where the real the real. Sure. Yeah. If, if like you're you know you're doing the tough talking, he's coming kind of coming out with like a blade. And, like <laughs> I give him money. A f- Mon- money. Money. Give coin now. That is a hard like military history. It looks like a three. Oh. Can I attempt to, yes. to intimidate? Yes. I was try, I was going for more of a persuasion, but if can I You can good cop this if you go persuasion. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'll play good eight. cop. I'll play good cop. I got a fifteen. Yeah, uh, yeah. Of this you're you're a very half hearted kind of yeah, give us the money. And then you're just like come on. Come, come help on. help me help you. Come on. Don't help make me. don't make me get the actual scary big guy. <laughs> Hey, I'm very scary. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't we don't want it. we don't want this to get difficult. Uh, I look, I I can just the chest, and then I can. Um, but if you really make it worth our while, we might leave you some of your merchandise. I I start to assemble my turret. <laughs> what one of the one of the, the people who paid for the shipment, I, I have some gold bricks. Perhaps I can Gold use bricks. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call it gold bricks. Yes, yes, they yes we would bricks. like we would like those, please. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we've come we, to an arrangement. Can we think we could leave them some cheese for some gold bricks? Well, I was going to leave enough food for them for three days anyway, so I was going to how heartless do we want to be? Gold bricks and half their merchandise? We're, we're taking him as well. All the gold bricks, for sure. All, yeah, all the gold, yeah, for sure. We can leave them but, half their cheese. Yeah, but yeah. enough cheese for them to get home. Yeah. Honestly, they, they, they probably like a tenth of their supply would be more than enough for that. And okay. a lot of food here. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to take They're going to be we're, so we're, constant. What kind of pirates are we? Think. Well, I mean, pirates didn't always kill people. That, no, uh, they usually if they that. surrendered, yeah, yeah, most yeah. of the time, most of the time, most pirate encounters didn't end up with the entire crew dead. Usually, usually, it did happen. Yeah, if they yeah, resisted, it would, it would the pirates sometimes. would end them. If oh, they resisted, isn't we that what they them. do today? They just surrender. Is now a bad time? That's what they're told to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, smaller ships, yes. The bigger ships have like right, black right. water. How do you feel? Yeah, gold. they've got oh, armed they security on them. I am not gold and tall enough. They could take out a. Or a few people with AKs. Yeah, let's, let's look at these gold bricks. But what's what's uh, um, yeah. quick, just a quick appraisal. So yeah, he he takes you into the, the chamber and then so he's got this chest he's talking about. And he slides out a false bottom, and there's just a tray of gold uh, bricks as he mentioned, uh, eight of them in total. Jesus. Um, you you lift it and uh, it's about forty pounds of just pure gold. Um, is it this? Is he's like struggling to lift it to you? Any any idea on net worth? Uh, you imagine that at rough ballpark, you could probably pass these things off anywhere from five hundred to a thousand gold. Per Whoa! Brick. Per brick. Per Wait, brick. how many bricks? Eight, Eight bricks. We've got like five grand here. Holy crap! Oh yeah. I think this is the most we've ever made in like one of your games. Actually. You got you got very lucky. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Cheese well, what, and what is money? that? What is that split up? Wait, that we'll would take, be a thousand we'll, each. We'll, we'll cash them. Yeah, we'll cash. Yeah, them. Keep the bricks for now. You gotta you gotta yeah. move it. Still. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're we, hot. Yeah, we've got to. Are they branded? Uh, they are. Yeah. They are. Yeah. Well, yeah. I can distort. Right, how value? many bricks? Eight. Eight bricks. You could make them look. I just make them like each, each one has the, uh, the print of the or bank worth of more. Basu. Or worth more. Say that again. Each one has the print of the bank of Basu. Yeah, we're definitely going to. They gonna, hate us they're so gonna, much. Yeah, they, <laughs> let me just go subtract some more from the <laughs> relationship. <laughs> <laughs> <or whatever. laughs> I have it right yeah. Excellent. Eight Basu will remember yeah. this. Negative 10 to reputation. Yeah, we killed, the, we killed the most important person in that city's wife uh, and stole. Status changed to. Vasu Boogeyman. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. Vilified. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> this is a good haul. Hell yeah. We got, we got a couple, couple. How many pounds of cheese? Um, 
probably like a thousand from the sound of it. Well, it depends on how much you're taking. So they've got about a thousand total. So we probably take like dairy. A thousand pounds. I of think we dairy. should take like five hundred pounds, like yeah. half their stock and all their gold. Yeah, that sounds fair. All right. Just so we're not complete heartless bastards. <laughs> Because yeah. they did surrender. They did. We did. They didn't make it difficult. And before we would leave, I try to. I would give a, a quick recruitment speech. I'd say I'd, I'd tell them any of those who would prefer to do the robbing instead of being the robbed should hop on this ship. Um. Well, a roll persuasion. You 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 go ahead. The captain is going to pipe up when you say I'm like. But remember, it would be a breach of contract for those of you who are indentured servants. We don't believe in contracts on our ship. And if you're an indentured servant, that why why would you stay? One gold sign-on bonus. Oh. The entire ship begins. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Like, where are you going? No, come back here. Come what, back here. Would you? We'll give you five gold. If what, what what's, your ship? what's your stipend? I, I, I'm getting paid 200 gold on completion of okay. the journey, and then I'm allowed to keep those cut of profits based on whatever we need. Yeah. No, you're pretty healthy, pretty good, and pretty. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, there's got to be use for this guy. Plus, if I don't we know leave him on the ship, he will die. There is no. So he wants his 200 pound. gold, right? He's got, he's got cheese. I mean, what do you, what do you want to do here? Because it looks like your crew has made up their minds. I, I, I need no, some. No, no, I, I, I leave, I leave, I don't pay, I like tell some of them, the weakest ones, to stay and help help him. I say that they're, they're mostly just people who were debtors who got thrown into being uh, ship hands. Maybe, now they don't like, now they don't have any debts. Well, sure, but they can't all be that useful. Do you just give me like 20 and we're good? I mean, you're not in much of a bargaining position right now, but I, I do. Yes. I don't. You have to feed them all. That's we stole your cheese. Come on, we'll out eventually. Let's, Still, let's would you like on. us to take the rest? You're right. We can we can leave the. I mean, not all these guys are going to be useful. To yeah, us. yeah, yeah. We leave them twenty, but we we do take all all the cheese except for what they need to get home. Yeah, that's what you get for mouth them. Yeah. Like 900 pounds. Of the, yeah, of the 900 pounds of dairy product aboard your ship. <laughs> That's it'll, right. It'll get I don't know why our dude. ship's lack of we, 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 Especially since we have the most oh, people. I, I, need it. It. <laughs> I said, it's now a bad time to say that I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Just a bucket leave your ass. You <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you should probably pay few, your, your future crews a little bit. Yeah, they were all going to get scurvy anyway. <laughs> I suppose that's fair is fair. I, I, uh, they, they, you see how high they jumped over one gold sign-on bonus? Wait till we treat them with kindness. <laughs> oh, no, Whoa, no. that's not they good. Get, they, 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 they get all sorts of uh, disobedience if you do that. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, we just start getting crazy. Beatings <laughs> and whips. That's the way to go. Okay. The red shirts to us. But, um, uh, 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 I... Safe journeys. Thank you for not. No, thank you. This has been a very pleasant transaction. Thank you for being so cooperative and agreeable. Uh, uh, we're going to disembark now. All right, be safe. And he just kind of like looks at how like the top deck. Rough is day. Shorn. Rough day for this captain guy. I feel bad. Yeah. For him. Yeah. I do feel a little bad for him, but but he had yeah, he's a dirty slave. Yeah, so. he's a dirty, stinking merchant sailor. So <laughs> how bad can I feel bad? I mean, indentured yeah. servitudes. And now that's we have pretty, all, pretty all the slavery, cheese. Yeah, we got, all the yeah we got a lot of cheese and five, like at least five grand. That was really worth it, yeah. yeah. Excellent, yeah. Clanker wouldn't think of this, but what if they scry? Hey, the hey, uh, hey, how far That was very distinct. What are, what are those uh, Warford eh. say? Tony also say. wouldn't think about that. Uh, they're a little north of the map overall. They're in, like, the deep ocean. You're, you're going to leave the archipelago. You're going to go probably a week's journey north of the map. And then there's like a zone to look for them. Okay. They're like in a giant vessel that broke into different parts. We're, we're going to need proper setup for that. Yeah. Yes, we will need to find a method for you all to breathe. Yeah. I That's understand okay. that is important for we you. Could pro if we can't afford it outright right now, we definitely got some good money towards it. 
Yeah, let's uh, let's continue on to our on our journey then. Yeah. Okay. Um, you make it all the way until uh, day ten, basically at the very bottom of uh, the, the smile, the, the Cape of Asu. Yeah, you're at the inflection point of the smile, and the storm is coming in. Uh, however, fortunately for you, like the last one, you have a full crew. Um, yeah, that was scary uh, last time. I throw 40 gold in the ocean. <laughs> good, good. Oh, you don't throw a bar. Oh no, no. <laughs> of my own gold. Now, are you going to leave it to your crew to figure this out and let them do it? Or are, are there any... I'm not... I, I'm just the, the bar. What do we need... What... Do we need to do something special? Not necessarily. Or? Like you, if you're like, hey, we've got a good enough crew for this. We as characters don't need to do anything. That is fine. Um, it's only if you choose to. But if you are going to do something during the storm, I need to know. I am going to be out there because I mean I'm second in command. I'm, I'm going to be out there like I'm, I, assisting I am out there, and telling people. I'm out know. there assisting because that's how I maintain this. Can I play music? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll do that, I will also assist. All right. Um, what what will Claire be doing? Casting shield on myself. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> In case any crates come flying your way. Yeah. Okay. Struck by God. She doesn't like the rain. <laughs> shield spell wouldn't block the rain. Yeah, wouldn't it? Just that'd be sure. awesome. <laughs> I, I don't see any reason why that shouldn't be allowed. So fine. It does now. Uh, you just gotta. Be... Yeah, if it blocks a sword or a spell, I bet it can block water. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, How bad is the storm? It's um, of moderate severity. Uh, a vessel that wasn't in good shape, I wouldn't survive it. But uh, does it look like it's going the way those other guys that we just robbed were going? Uh, in their general direction, yeah, they'll probably run into it. Um, <laughs> Damn. But they might be at port already. Yeah, it's close. Yeah, they're, yeah, that was like three days ago. Yeah, it, it's right on the. It's this is the day they should be getting. Back. They're fine. Okay. They had three um, days worth of travel, and now we're just hitting the storm. They're fine. I, Clanker doesn't care. It's more I care. <coughs> so, um, as you are going forward, the uh, storm. It's pretty heavy, but it's a tough ship. It's carrying through. It's not breaking up like the last one was. Doesn't have a whale sticking out of it. Does not, <coughs> as of yet, yeah. have a whale sticking out of it. Um, Who knows what the day will bring. <laughs> <coughs> but I am going to pull up something for you guys. <coughs> no, I literally found one. This isn't exactly the right one, but I don't have an ironclad ready made yet, so that's okay. We're gonna run with this one. If you guys want to just position yourselves around the deck where you'd like to be, where would I be? I'll be up here near the uh, this area. Oh no, the whale is stuck. There we go. Ah, no. I'm the only one up front. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah, excellent. Yeah. We left quiet. We left them. Oh, oh, we did. Yeah, we did. did we? Yeah, we. Yeah, I, I don't Wait. expressly remember I told, us. I told him to burn down the to burn down Wouldn't we have waited for him to do that? Huh? Wouldn't we have waited for him to do that and come back? Don't we need... I don't know if that would have been... immediately. Yeah, that wasn't... Oh, a crap. We just abandoned Yargo. I plan on Did going we? back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we have to go back to bring the stupid meteor. Yeah, yeah. We need so. a mini for the... Two dudes. And Mungus. And Ruckus. Mungus and Chungus. And Ruckus. The little one dies. I'm, I'm taking his spot. <laughs> She's riding asleep. She's going to sleep. I'm not that cold blooded. <laughs> he dies in a horrible storm accident, though. <laughs> oh no, he fell off the ship. Oh no, oh no, that's not good. He fell off a ship too. 
Okay. <laughs> so, I've never been on a ship. Well, it was when I was ten, and we also went through a storm. And I didn't like. <laughs> no, not that I'm remembering it. I don't. I didn't like that either. I was on a boat, and we also we didn't go through like a storm, but things definitely started to get a little rowdy. Like it was raining and stuff, but it definitely wasn't like a thunderstorm. It, it but was, it was scary. It was July fourth, and we went on a boat to look at the fireworks and got hit with a storm. Right. My dad fell off, and we couldn't. Oh, we didn't God. find him for like two hours. Oh my <laughs> goodness. God. That was he scary. just treading water the whole time? Or? He, had a, he had a lot, yeah, pretty much. Life yeah. jacket. He had a life yeah. jacket on, he was just floating. Probably like, was, over here! Over <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. I remember not knowing exactly what was going on when it was happening, but all the adults were freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> what? I had a similar situation when I was a kid. Uh, I was at my grandma's and a tornado hit like everything. She said I was in the bathtub eating animal crackers <laughs> and laughing the entire time. Nice. Nice. It killed the outhouse. Killed the outhouse. It killed it good. Excellent. We never did find it. I hate tornadoes. Yeah, tornadoes suck. I wish we could just make like some kind of compressed chemical in like a shotgun shell and just, <laughs> just shoot, just just shoot, shoot tornadoes. it and make it go away. That would be awesome. That would be tired. <laughs> Couldn't you do that? I mean, isn't a tornado just two temperatures fighting? Yeah. So if you like, right, so if you didn't, like made it one. Oh, if you could like superheat. Yeah. The air somehow. Make yeah. a huge, yeah. big clumsy feeder coming through. That would be cool. I'd love to be the guy that gets paid to shoot tornadoes Hell yeah. for a living. <laughs> Time to die, windy boy. <laughs> Here for now. Nice. And then. Uh -oh. Peering oh, over the bad. side of your vessel. Uh -oh. oh boy. Storm Serpent. monsters. <laughs> you, you, got look like that? you got him, Clanker. Yes. Uh, but not quite the same. So these are um, longer and they look more like uh, Did you do the, that? the sides of a manta ray. What? Oh, it just, it just switched. Oh, I was like, that's perfect. <laughs> I think that's the beach one and not the storm one, but that's it's still, still, yeah, we got waves in there, so that's a good change. <laughs> um, this kind of, like, it looks like a ball of, like, chaos energy, just, like, whirring around some water, and like a, like a wisp of water just comes mm. up. Um, like a little will-o'-wisp, but watery kind of thing? Bigger form washes over on a wave and appears there. Um, but you are aware that, uh, there are these aberrant energies still being, like, carried through the currents of the ocean, and they kind of come up during storms sometimes, and these are likely things that were, like, dredged from the deep and have spewed forth. It's like a, a river after, that feeds from a lake after a big storm, it's always got fish all through the river. That's a remoras, right? It, uh, yes, um, it, it's a little different, so don't don't uh, rely on the staff blocks. You've read the monster manual for what's oh. in front of you. I never remember the staff yeah, blocks. Yeah, I, I, I do. I haven't looked at it. I don't think I've ever fought one of those or looked at yeah, it. It is not a, not exactly the same. Closest thing I've seen to something like that is up the ear, I think. But as they come on board and start assaulting your crew, I will need initiative. Roll for initiative, fools. Seagulls are the worst. They are horrible. I tried giving a dolphin a fish once in Florida and one stole it from my hand. It doesn't surprise me. I've seen videos of people like, they buy like, uh, you know, like a, a fish and chips and then it's gone. And birds are thieving assholes. I'd probably cry. If I bought food got, and like you know, a bird came down and stole it from me, I think as a grown ass woman, yeah. I would <laughs> cry. I would consider dog. getting my shotgun and then <laughs> probably decide against it. It, 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 it,
Wasn't there a GTA game where you killed yeah, seagulls? GTA 4. Yeah, yeah. I think it was pigeons. Was it pigeons? I thought for some reason I thought it was seagulls. There we go. So, initiatives. I got a 14. I got a 15. Ooh. Well, I guess I just won't be able to give you bardic inspiration until Play. <laughs> yeah. after your first round. 19. Ashley. 20. Well, a water monster are assaulting your crew, and there's this giant serpent that has kind of lightning arcing across the water on its body. Is it like crackling between the spines on its uh, back? Yeah, it's like there's like lightning yeah. antenna that it's kind of falling. Arcing down. like uh, one of those weird science-y things where the... Mm -hmm. I can't describe yeah. things for shit, but... Fireball. <laughs> And also when it opens its mouth and like does like a shriek roar thing, oh, like lightning crackles or something. Yeah, it's yeah, probably bad. bad. Mm. That's probably bad. Vosh hates these things. Mm. Is really? testing predominant of his Oh, they need to die then. All of them. You need to go up in the melee with it? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to inflict wounds. Oh, okay. That's a good um, one. I think you just make a touch attack, right? Yes. Oh, and I got a natural 20. Nice. Oh. So you reach into the thing and you find like this unstable elemental core in its heart and you just begin to crush it in your palm as the negative energy radiates throughout you. So you do roll and fall. It's a, this, this is a thing that can't crit. It's 3d10. Um, add 1d10 for each spell slot above, so it's 6d10. 6d10. What level did you cast it at? It's just on my actions. Yeah. So level 3 spell slot, I think we do 5d10 unless I'm... It, if it says 6d10, it's right. So. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if okay. it says... Yeah, if it says 6d10. So you do 60 plus whatever you want to roll, if you want to just figure out what that number is, give us... Uh, 19. Uh, so, 79 damage. Um, you are just surrounded in this aura of, like, dark energy. And this thing, like, just withers. Like, the life that is animating, it just drains away, and it turns into, like, a puddle before you. And you just release, and there's nothing there. It's just wet. It's gone? Yeah. Uh, and you murdered the just shit out of that thing. <laughs> With a crit max level. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you, that threat's just off the board. <laughs> Jeez, what are you, power game a character? <laughs> no, I, it's the first time I've ever used that. I didn't even know. It doesn't usually go that well. <laughs> yeah, usually it's like... It's because I took the something. Fey Touched. Yeah. It's because I took the Fey Touched. Feet. Well, uh, yeah, you uh, Fey Touched it out of existence. Yeah. So it's it, it's gone. 
Um, anything else you can do this round, or are you uh, done one-shotting things for now? <laughs> Got any bonus actions? Um, yeah, I am going to bonus action uh, Misty Step. I think the DM's getting salty over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, That'll be the end of my turn. A fine kill. Next is Claire. Yeah. How far away am I from the giant centipede? You're like 80, 90 feet, I think. I don't know where you're at. Right. I can scoot over. Back there? Yeah, it doesn't count the squares. Either 55 or 60 feet. I, I can't really tell based on where that thing's. Let's call 55. I'm going to use uh, Scorching Ray. All right. Uh, so you fire off three rays of flame, and you make an attack roll for each of them. Each one that hits does 2d6 damage. You're going to aim them all at the. At uh, which one? The at first people. one's 19. That'll hit. So then I rolled 2d6 mm-hmm. with uh, 10 damage. Alright, go ahead and roll your next attack. 13. That will not hit. And then, oh, 9. Nope. <laughs> so you aim wide on the other two, but you get them on the first one. Um, so do, you, do you do anything with your bonus action? Um, can I create my turret? But you already did. Huh? But you already did. Mm-hmm. I said I was about to. Oh, okay. Um, creating it. Oh, you know, it is a bonus. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Just like pop it down and just. Yep. Or you can just come, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you, you pop your turret up. Which do you do? Are you doing the healing turret, the lightning turret, or the flamethrower turret? Uh, the healing turret. Okay. So you get that set up, and starting your next turn, your bonus action can be that turret just doing it. Okay. Uh, next is your crew. Um, are they even armed? Yeah, uh, the, the, a number of them have like some combination of like cutlass or pistols. Or um, they kind of start volley firing at the serpent. Fair. It's a good call. Take down the biggest, nastiest thing first. And they will do a collective total of 22 damage to it. That's just bullets just raining all over the head. That is their contribution. Pretty um, good job, guys. 22 damage, I ain't nothing to sneeze at. Let's see, Solon is currently disposed of Clanker. Uh, Clanker will walk right up to this thing. Get off the boat, abomination. Get off my boat. What? How fucked up does this thing look? Um, look it's, pretty... it's pretty hardy. It's, it's still fine. I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians. All right. Um, what does that look like for you? Uh, many small translucent great white sharks, but like tiny. And there's like, okay. Just biting everything. Other I'm imagining like a piranha swarm, but like sharks. Yeah, but with sharks. Little, little mini sharks. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Um, I think it, the damage will happen on its turn. Uh, yeah, it's. Um, Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when it enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. Okay. Very cool. Uh, Solid. Uh, is there like a charge attack? In this uh, not really. All right. So I'm going to move up. Uh, I'm going to jump over this, jump down this thing. Is that okay? Yes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 
30 right here. And then I'm going to action point, right? Action, sir? Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Get right here. All right. That's next, a hell of a job. Next to, next to my bro. And I'm going to... Uh, so if I hit this thing with a pushing attack, could I knock it off the boat? Uh, but actually it's too large for that. It is size category huge. So it's not going to move. Okay. Uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. I will get back. Could I uh, knock it down? Like prone it? Yeah. Um, it depends on the way the ability reads. If it doesn't have a size category stipulation, then yes. Okay, hold on. Let me. I think it goes over on the second page here. Does some of them say it's got to be large or smaller within one size category, and some of them don't care? Uh, yeah, it has to be large or smaller. Yeah, they won't work that. All right, so I'm gonna do goading attack on it. All right, yeah, you 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 walk up to the giant serpent. How do you try to goad it? Huh? Because goading attack is like you're being so bellicose that it just can't help yeah. but go after you. What I you tell them. Get at you. Your mom made a really big poopy. <laughs> He doesn't know what you said, but it's going to dig us all the soul fault. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I and then I break out into a, into a, an old orcish war song. All right. Secondary attack. Um, Use a different dice. Is that yeah, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Make can I attack. also make it a goading attack? Uh, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will say one thing you noticed about that near miss of yours was you felt like the static of the thing like traveling up towards you, but you didn't connect, so it didn't reach you. Uh, so is it gonna hurt me if I? You imagine that striking this thing will do damage. To you. But it is doing lightning damage. Yes. Did I notice that as well? Uh, I want to say he was the only one. Well, no anyway, I, I still want to go to an attack it anyway. So. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Natural 17. That'll hit. All right, that gives me an extra D8. So, 2D8. <coughs> oh, hell yeah. Pretty good. Um, that's 12 plus 4. So, uh, 16. Oh, 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 and and uh, and I'm gonna add my extra d6 of elemental damage. Can I do that? Um, you would have to activate it as a bonus action prior to attack. Oh. Uh, but you can choose now which one you'd like to do and have it up in the future. What would be the opposing element of lightning? Earth, but no, it's not an element in D and D. Um. I'm not sure. What are the element options? Uh, you have got fire, uh, cold damage, thunder, and, uh, lightning. Really? That's yep. it? Those are your options. <laughs> but that's what that's what that sword does. I'll bet. Uh, well, I know fire works on it because she hit it with that fire attack, mm -hmm. right? So I'll just do fire. All right. Yeah, your sword of catches fire. Also giving you some extra illumination. Nice. All right. Well, I have dark vision anyway. That'll oh. look cool. How yeah, dark it is, is it right now? Cool. Uh, right, if you uh, don't have some sort of extra vision, it's very hard to see. All things are disadvantaged. That's the end of my turn. That. All right. 
Uh, Tony. Tony will cast Inspiration on Clanker, then use his bonus action to hide behind a mask. Makes sense. 14 stealth. You don't think you have its attention at this time. Perfect. That's all I was going for. Alright. That will put us at the end of uh, all of you guys and your crew. And the enemy can go! Um, that little orb over there is going to move towards me. Mm, it's going to go over to Mungus. And you see it, it begins to like swell up in size like a giant bubble. And then it just tries to envelop them. That's not great. Um... Uh, and yeah, you, they're just seem to be like in a giant foamy bubble. That when like they got to punch it, you just see like it like bends out, but like goes back in. I wish they would have done that to me. Um, so that's going on. The giant serpent. He starts his turn. Yep. A wisdom saving throw. Seven. No. Oh. He takes. Oh, that's cocked. Four plus three, seven plus one. Good God, I rolled bad on the damage. Uh, Eleven radiant damage. Okay. Um, he will turn to attack Solon. Opening with his bite. Let's see, that is a twenty-three to hit, which I'm going pretty to sure see. that hits him. Yeah. And then his damage. Is it? Like Does Solon have Disposable a resistance? Cups? I need to factor in. No. Okay. That is a total of 14 damage on that attack. And then it will tail lash that clanker. It kind of whips up the other side of its body. At who? For a 25. Whoa, whoa, whoa. At who? 25? You took 14 damage. It, at a disadvantage. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, because of the goading attack. Same roll. Ah. Um, uh, 25, you said? Yes. Yeah, that hits. My AC's high, but it's not that high. Check. Well, you uh, take 6 damage from that. <coughs> I'll take it. It just boops you. Oh, can you put some water in it? Um. As that is all going on, you look out to see, for those of you on the very front of the ship, you see a figure riding towards you in, like, full plate, riding some sort of, like, it's like a steed made of water, like the same elemental energy that those elementals that have popped on your ship are. Um, and it's just, like, decked out in uh, full plate. And it has a... Uh, a glaive and it rides up onto your ship. You can put this next to the serpent and next to Clanker, kind of up in that area. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is just. Oh, that's uh, the bounty hunter. <laughs> just really, you don't. It, you, they're encased in armor completely, so you don't really get a mm -hmm. good read on them. They are sizable. Um, I assume they're uh, they're hostile looking. Like they're yeah, they to... they look to have a menace and are at, not at all even concerned about the big serpent next to them. Do they look aberrant like the rest of these? Use it, it's a humanoid shape, so there could be a person in there. Um, but the aberrations do have worshippers and servants. So and he's riding one. Yeah. Yeah, he dies. Uh, but yeah, he is <laughs> hopped up there. And, um... Oh, he entered uh, my spirit guardians. Yes, he did. Does an 18 do it for him? It does, but he still takes half damage. Okay. Four plus seven plus two. 
13 minus or halved is uh, uh, seven rounding up, six rounding down. Six. Okay. Six radiant. But yeah, he, um, he appears there. The sharks are just kind of tearing into him. And then he will aim his uh, glaive toward you, but instead of actually like striking at you, uh, some kind of energy protrudes from him, and you feel this pain in your mind um, as this projectile goes through you. Uh, you take. Uh, 13 psychic damage. That's not great. And this just kind of otherworldly shrieking noise fills your head as it goes through you. But that'll be the end of his turn. Top of the round, Ashling. Okay. Oh, his mount would have also gotten spirit guardians if it's a creature. It's not. Okay. It's like a, like a phantom steed esque type. Spell for this one. Inflict wounds. <laughs> hey, it, it worked real well the first time. Why not? Crit, 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 crit. crit. Yeah. If, it ain't, if it ain't fixed, don't break it. Uh, that's a 22 to hit. That does hit. And that will be only 22 damage this time. Only 22. A measly 22. Oh, yeah, dang. And then. I'm going to bonus action misty step. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> She's like a ninja. All right, yeah, you woof right on that. <laughs> yeah, like. Um, yeah, you you just feel like this cold hatred and kind of bent figure. Like there's this weird psychic energy that you get when you touch it. Uh, but you retract your hand before I can get too far and. You, Jolt him full of negative energy and get out of there. Um, Claire. Uh, I'm going to use Firebolt. Okay. On the serpent. Roll to attack. Fourteen. Does not hit. Fire wide. Is your turret doing anything else right um, My turret's going to heal or try to heal Clanker. Is that possible? Uh, it's 30 or 60 feet, so yeah. Do you have a turn already? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, I forget the exact effect it does. You'll have to look on your character sheet. I think I've it's a 10-page people. An artificer before. I've never seen the artillerist of the table before. Who's time for that? It's 1d8 plus uh, intelligent modifier. 1d8 plus intelligence modifier. So and they have to be uh, 10 feet. 10 feet? From the turret, though. Yeah. Okay, so your turret can walk over to somebody. If it's a... It can move? Well, you get to choose if it's mounted on you or if it's... It was walk. not mounted on me. Okay, so it's got third... No, it moves at 20 feet per round. So it can move 20 feet and then move over to 10 feet and zap and put a shield on. 
Okay. Not close enough to help Clint cook them. Um, I'll do the shield on Ashley then. And right. move. let's just pretend this is my turret. Right here. Go ahead and, yeah. Get it where you want. That's uh, it for Claire. Uh, do I need to roll to let you know how much the shield or yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, you gotta roll that D8, man. Yep. Oh, I know. Six. Okay, so Ashley, you got a six temp HP. Thank you. Um, let's see. Next is the crew. Crew is going to fire at the serpent again. Is that something that's not going to be scooped? Fair. It's pretty big. Uh, it didn't shoot too good this round. So, um, you just see a bunch of like strafing shots flying off the thing, but it looks like it took very minimal damage. Damn. Uh, uh, that's it for them. So, Solon. Yes. So, this thing is still uh, affected by my goading attack or not? Yes. Yes? Uh, no, it's end of. Till your next turn. It's a battle maneuver, correct? Which one was it? Goading attack. Battle attack will yeah, they... other than you until the end of your next turn. Yeah. So it won't, by the time it goes again, be affected by that unless you <coughs> refresh it. Wait, how much damage does it do to me? 14? 14, I think. Yeah. I'm just gonna do the goading attack again. All right. Roll the hit. <coughs> the 14. Will not hit. Oh. Uh, okay. Secondary attack. Come on. Fucking 15. Nope. Uh, Neither of those can get through it. That yellow D20. Any way we can flank this thing? Uh, not while it's hanging off the front of the boat like that. We could maybe flank the dude, but. So, I mean, we might be able to bait it by backing up and bringing it into you. But uh, as long as you're aware it can reach you from there, it's probably just going to stay there. Alright, I tell you, back up. Can, uh,. Wait, but if I backed away from it, it would attack of opportunity for me. If right? you leave its area of threat, yes. And the only way to do it without... Wait, what, what, how long is its area of threat? We don't know. You'd be oh. testing it every, every square you move. So, so if I... If, if, so if its area of threat is two squares, mm -hmm. then I can move back one square. And it wouldn't attack of opportunity. That's correct. Oh, okay. Well, this thing's definitely got m longer than normal reach, so I'm going to move back one square. It does not seem to strike at you when you do that. Alright, so, uh, yeah, that's what I do. Okay. Um, that's the end of Solon's turn. Clanker. Now, this, this fella, uh, this humanoid fella in the plate mail, uh, his weapon, I know it's not a normal one, but it, you said it was like a glaive? Mm hmm. Clanker knows about glaives. He will attempt to back up and hope that he doesn't. Uh, only five feet, so he's still within ten feet of him. Yep, doesn't swing at you. Good, 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 good. And then, uh, Channel Divinity Twilight Sanctuary. Um, Thirty feet all around me, filled with dim light. And, um,. I end my turn and I get how much is that? It's 1d6 plus something. Is it my cleric level or is it my wisdom? Cleric level. I get uh, nine temporary hit points. Nice. 
Nice. Let's say to Clank, who's turn? Tony. Yeah, I'm going to... Move up here and use shatter on these two. Uh, neither of them make it. Unless, oh wait, is it Constitution? What's the spell? Shatter. I think it is. I think it is Constitution. It's Constitution, and the big guy got a thirteen. Okay, I fumbled, so. 18 total. Okay. If they pass, they only get half of that. Total DC is uh, 13? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, and I'll use my bonus action to hide. Rip over a pile yep. of rope. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. Slam on. <laughs> well, that uh, ends your turn, I suppose. Which means it is... uh, Are you within 30 feet of me? Yes. You get seven temporary hit points. I didn't roll very good. Let's see. Um, Ashley. I need a wisdom saving throw. Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. I have advantage. Um, and I'm also going to use a luck point. <laughs> With advantage? <laughs> that is rough. Sometimes you get two natural ones. It's happened to me like three times that I can remember. There we go. 21. 21. Uh, yeah, you succeed. Um, you feel like some force trying to like push you and you're able to just kind of by strength of will stop it um and you take one point of psychic damage uh the individual on the steed will take his glaive and swing it physically this time Planker. he bounces off your armor um, and then he... Oh yeah, my armor class is one higher now because of the, the plate. I forgot to change that, so it'd be 21, 21. now. Okay. Well, he misses either way. Excellent. Um, and upon missing that, he kind of reaches his side hand out toward the large creature next to him, like, strokes it, and then... Um, turns around and dives into the water on his mount. Uh, that thing lashes its tail out at Solon. Uh-huh. Glanker screams so coward at it in Aquan. That's it. Goes. That is my AC. <coughs> so he does hit. Uh, he gets you for 12 crushing damage as it just slams Ooh. into you with his massive tail. And then it scuttles back below your ship. Oh, it went under as well. Oh, that's not good. Uh, you both get attacks of opportunity. Oh, that is good. I'm going to try and something the fairies. Oh, no, I backed up. We, we backed up. Do you have reach? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it to you just because it's so big that as it's maneuvering, to go back down. Much appreciated. Well, you're you're missing another right out natural one. I should have known. Clanker misses. Uh, that's a natural 19. Oh, oh. Yes. Mess his shit up. Uh, D8. Uh, nine damage. You've been rolling pretty good on those okay. D8s. Yeah, they uh, they take off off the front of your ship. Um, the only other kind of invading force left on uh, the vessel is that bubble. That's just they're eating, still stuck eating, in. Yeah. It doesn't even look like it's eating. That like they just can't get out of it. It like is it's, it's a plastic barrier. Ran away. Um, you don't see that. They went below the water, and you're not sure. Coward. Um. Yeah, we can add an initiative there. Bubble's not really doing any other hostile action. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go. Let's go check that out. Yeah, Do I'm they gonna... look in distress. 
Yeah, they're very annoyed. Uh, that's at that level of distress. They don't look like they're in mortal danger. And it looks like it's a membrane or it's water. Uh, it's it's like a, a membrane. Um, Pop out the arm blade and try to. Yeah. Poke, Wait, I'll what poke is it with it? my rapier. Uh, Some this, kind of water bubble. This thing? Water throat. bubble thing's got. Uh, it's probably explosive. Don't touch it. Explo <laughs> why is it water? <sighs> I already uh, stabbed it. Yeah, with well, my I'm arm also, also already yeah. stabbed it. No, I'm oh, staying um, very far away from it. Are you trying to harm it or just... Yeah, I'm trying, trying to cut it out. open so I can get it off of uh, our large friend. Okay, so you're being mindful of what's inside it or are you... Yes, just, like, yes, so I'm okay. like <laughs> trying to get up just the membrane. Okay. I got a 17 on the die plus 7. The moment the point of your blade touches it, just... Ooh, ooh, nothing there. Strange. Pull the arm blade back in, and uh, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna look over the edge and see if I can see these guys. I know I probably can't, but no, yeah, they're gone. Slipped into the dark sea, picked a fight and ran away. Yeah, they were getting their, they were kind of getting their butts kicked there a little. There's no shame. There's no shame in not dying. You have to fight another guy. Yeah. That is fair. But you, uh... Flanker just really wanted them dead. Abominations. We're through the storm. And as you come out the other side, it's, um... It's night. But the waters are calm. And you are able to make the rest of your journey, um, without complication. The island before you past the beach, has this thick jungle canopy that stretches out. Foothills kind of line the elevation as you go deeper in. It becomes more uneven terrain. Some of it not mountainous, but large hills. And you think you make out some sort of structure covered in vines somewhere in the distance. Structure. Temple. Can I tell what type of material it looks like it might be made out of? It is shiny and has a golden hue. This isn't our That's destination. That's man-made for sure. No, but it looks like a, a rife, sexy temple worth exploring. It's probably the temple to these guys. Could be. This, this is the island you were told to go to. Oh, was it? This, yeah, this is oh, fast-forwarding okay. oh. some days down the road. Okh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought, I, that's what I asked you. I, this is our destiny. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Excellent. This is the dealio. Yeah. Do, we, do, we, do we see some ships marooned? There are two ships on the side of the island, just on the beach. In good quality? Uh, they don't appear touched. <laughs> we should check those. We should scout first, right? Yeah, we should definitely Because we don't want to get marooned like island? they did. Um, the island is large enough that you can't see the end of it okay. from where you're at. And I think we'll stop there. That sounds good. Excellent. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Yeah, that was a good fight. Hell yeah. Looking forward to uh, what comes up next time. Yeah, that's a good fight. See you all in two weeks. Yeah. Oh, and uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> Please like yeah. and follow. Subscribe, Black and Decker. Follow, <laughs> Black and Decker. Uh, Black and Decker. Buy <laughs> bits. That's a deep uh, cut from the start of the episode. Plug us. Do all the social things. Yeah. Tell your mom. And have a good night. Tell your mom.